Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. When that when that little ding went, yeah, Sprite went meow because <laughs> I guess it sounds like a bell. Yeah, and he's like meow. Yeah, I should I should turn on the mic just before that goes ding. Yeah, so people can hear him go meow. <laughs> meow. Uh, welcome to the show. We have a very special show tonight. Very special. In my hands, yeah, I have the full list of yum. nominees. Oh, <laughs> someone nostalgic. Thank you so well, much. It's a good time to do it. It is. Uh, I have a lot to say. Oh, you're getting the cats riled up. <sighs> Let me get it ready. Let me get it ready. Calm down. Time for more bells. <laughs> so. Go. Alrighty. Ding, ding, ding. One there and one there. So. Um, who's so first? today we are announcing the Atari, a uh, fifth annual Atari Homebrew Awards nominees. One for a little Sprite. Sprite? Don't look perplexed. No, no, over there. Right here. Yeah, there you go. Thank one, you. one. Thank you, Nostalgic, Yay. for uh, feeding the cats a little early. Mm -hmm. Haven't done anything on the show yet. <gasps> Two. One. Um, so let's rattle off people's names before we get into anything. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Uh, 8 bit poet, Hello, Ace 3093, Al and Granular Snow. Thank you so much for subscribing. Atari's Brand ahead. new subscriber. Atari's ahead. Al Nefer, Arkham H, Armscar Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 1974, Knight, Atari 2600, Do Atari Age, Beef, Beef Supreme, BR Polka, Bach Owens, Captain 2D, Charles Donnie Mao, Charles Will and Chai 5. Uh, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, DNOI, Danny C. Daryl, 1970, Dr. Moo Cows, Great Offender, Johnny WC, Commuter Kenzo. Four. Four, three. Uh, Carl G. Ken Jennings Invader, Kvelthefer, Lambda Express, Lord T. DZ, Mark, Mad Max 269, Marco, Johannes, Mark Space Inc., Metal Four. Level, uh, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latell, Miss Command, MK Swift, Mr. Zarnowood, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Old Style, Pack Rat, Coog, R. Anschwitz, R. Uh, Raymond C., RC70, Render Ghost, Repentless, VG, Retro Game, 1975, Six Suite, Smitty B., Smoke, Spice, Horace, Ramirez, Ramirez, Teleprompter, D Train, Welshman, Tiki Dan K., T Post, TM Events, 2600, Bitoko, 8 Bits, and X Ken X. What's the score? 6-6. Six, six. Oh, my goodness. They're head-to-head. Head-to-head wow, to head today. that's pretty good. So thank you to all the lovely subscribers who would be scrolling down there, but we're on cat cam right now. You'll see them in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. You, uh, It's free if you have Amazon Prime, and it gets rid of the ads. What's the score? 8-7 for Sprite. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. It's so close. Sprite is just barely ahead. Oh, oh nope, that's a miss. Atari, come on, Atari. Ooh, oh, eight, eight. eight eight! It's head to head. Have you been? Uh... Oh, Sprite's a little baffled. He's not <laughs> hitting it. He's distracted by the tree. Atari has. Oh, oh, nine eight. Nine eight. It is go, go, game point. Go, go. Nine, nine, nine nine. Oh my goodness. All right. Who's? The... Oh no! Atari left with nine. Oh, no. <laughs> it's gonna be over. Oh no! Sprite's very distracted. Sprite's though. gone oh. back. <laughs> Sprite's leaving the room. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh it's 10-9. Ten, 10-9 nine. Nine for Sprite. Sprite. Consolation Barely. for Atari. Barely won. Oh, my goodness. that He's getting better, Atari. He is. Wow. Nope. There's the names down there. There we go. Very, so many names in the chat. Yeah, it is. It is above 70 now. Wow. It's very good. Oh, in the chat. Yes. Yeah. Um. So tonight, very special. Yes. We are going to run through every category announce all the nominees Yay. start the voting tonight wow so as we announce them i'm going to open up the polls for the voting wow so you can start if you know all the games already yeah but i would study them first and make sure you know them very well um and we're also going to be playing through two categories tonight two categories quickly okay because you know, we, we played all these <laughs> games on yeah, the show yeah that's true that's true yeah. we're going to be playing through the atari 2600 homebrew original Okay. And Atari 2600 homebrew port categories. Mm -hmm. um, but first, we're going to open up some mail. Let's see what mail. Let's do this one first. Nope. No revealing info there. Good. <laughs> Let's see what this is. I think I know what this is. <laughs> Be informed voting citizens, says That's Nostalgic. Right. Play homebrew games. Oh, we'll get to the trophy. In one <laughs> second. Okay. Uh, this has a please rate us. No, 
Um, let's see. Open this up. Yeah, I think this is what I. Mm, smells okay. As long as it doesn't smell like smoke, <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. So can anybody guess what this is? Just by the look of it. Uh, it is the team tap for the Jaguar. Mm -hmm. So you plug this into one port oh. and it makes four ports. <gasps> wow. So here we go. Beware. Beware of nail in voter fraud. <laughs> oh, <laughs> smokes. <tap. laughs> there you go. So wow. there are some homebrew games yeah. that support more than two players. And that's why I got it. You gotta nice. be you gotta be ready Yay. for any kind of homebrew Excellent. stuff that's, that's coming out. Luckily it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too too expensive. There isn't a huge demand for this, which is good for me. At least right now there's no demand. So um that's good. I picked this up the correct way. Okay. Actually mm -hmm. this wouldn't be too bad. Hey everybody in the chat. Oh, hey. thank you for resubscribing, Ground Trooper. 49 months. What does that wow. translate to? Just over four years. Wow. Wow, that's doesn't even make sense. <laughs> um, oh. We've been around that long. We Crazy. have Ivory Tower Collections. I don't have a Jag team tap. Then again, it's more rare to find another to play a Jag game here <laughs> at the tower. That's true. That's true. Yeah, you yeah. do have to find some players. Okay, so. Hello, would Raymond. Be very C. interested in this. Lots of names in the in the chat today. Lots of people popping Let's up. See if this shows up. Oh yeah, it's showing up. Oh. What oh. is this? Fancy. What are we looking at here? What is that? It's oh, got Atari Age branding. Hokey. Ah, uh, it's the oh, new Hokey chips. Oh, exciting. And of course, I ordered two because that's a maximum. Nice. It's the Hokey. <laughs> so uh, these are low cost. Replacement. Oh, better switch over. Low cost replacement chips for pokey chips. Nice. Not for every uh, situation that a pokey chip um, goes into. Okay. I think you can't use it in arcade machines. Okay. Because they do use pokey chips, but there's extra things in those. But you can use it for the concerto cart. Mm -hmm. um, you can use it for your Atari 5200 and 8 bit machines, I believe, if you're missing one or yours is damaged as well. Mm -hmm. And I th and I think what they were sub $10, $10 or less, mm -hmm. I think they were, um, uh, if you order them. And they're starting to go into the new games that are in the Atari Age store. Mm -hmm. Not for 8 bit machines, I am corrected. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vitoko. So, no, no. It doesn't have the serial <laughs> stuff on it and it doesn't have the. Uh, random number generator okay, uh, okay so no randomness if you use it in no your random, machine yeah. you'll get the same game every time yeah. <laughs> makes it easier i guess no i'm sure if there's games that, that rely on the rng yeah. for, for doing stuff um sound only okay so this is sound only so you can put it in your damaged ball blazer carts <laughs> but specifically it, i believe it was made for the concerto cart and okay. for cartridges 7800 cartridges so that it replaces like the pokey one and the original pokey because they're getting very expensive okay. and very hard, hard to, to find, find yeah. yeah and uh there's always already reports of people uh putting them into concerto and people nice. testing them out good and they've already gone into cartridges that have shipped excellent so um this is uh put in in your ball blazer cart put it in your ball blazer cart mm -hmm. that had all the pokies stolen true yes yeah purged of their pokies and you can put the hokey in yeah. and replace it there you go coppers has it in oh, muddy gotcha. funster uh, this game um so that is the mail so for the past couple weeks well for a very long time but for the past couple weeks there's been uh the nomination committee made up of random atari age subscribers and users mm. not subscribers users um have helped whittle down the hundreds of games uh that have been released in 2022 lots of games and we have some numbers on those games um but i want to thank the nomination committee for putting in all this tons of hard work and playing through all the games that released in 2022 and narrowing it down to the games that we're going to be announcing tonight <laughs> um in their opinion these are the best games nice. they all voted independently they don't know the results of everybody but anybody else's votes only theirs i added them all together and we'll go through how that was done as well 
Actually, we do it right now. Um, <laughs> Uh, cause not, nothing is a secret. It's all open. There's no secrecy around here, okay, okay. uh, for this, for the, uh, Atari Homebrew Awards. Um, so they, they have the list of each game that goes in each category. You know, there's categories like for the 2600, there's sound, there's graphics, you know, there's packaging categories and we'll go through all those. So this year we changed it up a bit. And instead of just voting, yes, this is a cool game, mm -hmm. or just leaving it blank, we changed it um, because there was a lot of ties that were happening. Yeah. Unfortunately, because people generally vote for the same games. Yeah. Because those are the good games. Yeah. And it <clears throat> ended up in so many ties, and I was just sick of it. And sick so, of the ties. Because we had to have tiebreakers, and then I had to go back to the nomination committee, and... Uh, <laughs> You've got a fluffy hat. And uh, <laughs> I do. Yeah. A nomination committee, and then they had to vote again. Yes. And I didn't want them to do more work than necessary. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so this year they numbered them. Ten points for their most favorite, then nine for their second, down to one, and then... So you're ranking them, essentially. Ranking them, yeah. 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 And the higher, the higher the points, the more they like yeah. the game. And so they uh, rank their ten top games. Nice. Um, some people found it good. Some people found it terrible and annoying well, and probably, a lot of work probably time consuming to rank yeah. everything which is it understandable is. yeah yeah um so we might we'll probably try something different next year but for me on my side <laughs> it was amazing yeah <laughs> it just added up there was only a couple ties but we had also something else in place to break those ties gotcha uh that was calculated and people didn't need to do it anymore okay it was based on um damn it i forget the word um but you put in all the numbers and it's the a variance i think yeah variance variance so the less of variance from the mean from the mean yeah um that one won over one with more variance gotcha that means everybody was more agreed on on the actual the number. actual score yeah that's and fair and if there's scores all over the place yeah. tower oh, oh, math. math yeah yeah the computer did the it variance. i didn't have to do it yeah variance yes. thank you Vitoka. variance on the mean so uh, for the nomination committee, I would like to thank them individually. Uh, right now, Adam, A. Gredney. Oh, I've never said these names out loud. Some <laughs> the of them. Pythagorean theorem. A Just keep throwing out math terms. A. Gredinu, <laughs> Alnifer, Armscar Coder, Bitjag, Blue Swimmer, Bido Empire, CD W, Cyrano J, Daryl 1970, Jamtex, Jeremiah K, J. G. K. S. P. S. X. Never said that one out loud before. Johnny W. C. K. Three V. Kiryu Jimbo. Carl G. Carrie Kaz. Uh, Tarionline.pl. Kev Kelly. Lau. Lau. Uh, Latown. Lord Kraken. Machine. Mato Simi. M. K. Smith. Muddy Funster. Ninjaba. Phil San Prizak. Propane Thirteen. Revenge. Saturn. Smitty B. Spiceware. Spindly Nineteen Seventy. Splendid Nut. Sporadic. Tom's Yanch. T. I. X or ticks, mm -hmm. Trebor 2600 and Vitoko. So thank you so much mm -hmm. for all the people that helped. Mm -hmm. uh, ranked choice voting? No, <laughs> no, they were just straight up scores that scores. were added. Yeah. So they, that's a lot of work, ranked yeah. choice voting. We, 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 <laughs> we had extensive discussions about options too, because there's yes. a lot of different ways. Oh my God, so many that ways to vote. you can take into account people's choices yeah which is kind of interesting See, if you like mk smith liked it but some other people hate it yeah <laughs> so we're gonna try a different one and, and yeah and take the good parts from this one well, and and get rid of some of the more annoying parts yeah from this one as first well. past the, past the post there you go that's, that's another no, one that's what it was yeah well that's kind of what it is too it's the highest score then the next highest score then the next highest score yeah but there's more than one person because okay. we get the top six and then it goes to what we're doing tonight, yeah, which is public voting. Yeah. So they take care of narrowing down the hundreds of games. Yes. So you only have to vote on six. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, that's too many games for you yeah. to vote on, and most people would just give up. Yeah. Um, so to the stats, um, and this was added up by somebody else. So this is probably close or the right. So it's our twenty-six hundred games. Um, ones that were eligible for this year. Okay. 148 Atari okay. 2600 games. So that's how many they went through. Uh, 49 completed and 99 works in progress. Oh, the love. Oh, <laughs> you've got fluff in your paw. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Atari what, else, eight, what else? Atari 8 bit slash 5200 games. 112 of them. 51 completed. 61 work in progress. Mm -hmm. Atari 7800 games is the third most. Uh, 59 games, 
18 completed, 41 work in progress. Atari Lynx with 24 eligible games, 8 completed, 16 work in progress. And Jaguar with 22 games, 6 completed, and 16 works in progress. So, 365 games in total in 2022 that were eligible for the that Atari Homebrew Awards. A lot yeah, of games. Atari is frisky today. It's because um, <laughs> my hand smells like treats. Yeah. So I'm not sure what's worse. My I hand smelling you. like treats or my hand smelling like cat spit. So <laughs> he's, you were so He's ugh. taking care of the treats ugh, now. I'm going to have to wash my hands. So 132 <laughs> completed and uh, 233 work in progress. Yeah, exactly. One for every day. So if you average it out, somebody made a homebrew every day. Um, so the schedule for voting mm. today, it opens up the voting and we'll be opening it up, uh, category by category mm. as we go through the night and announce them. The voting ends on February 17th, 2023, just before midnight. And that is in two weeks. Exactly. And the award show is on February 25th, uh, 2023. That's a Saturday. February 25th. Oh my gosh, it's almost February. It, it is February. <laughs> it is February. So not almost, it's almost here. Yeah, it wow, is almost that's here. that's fast. Whoop. Yeah, so that'll be at noon on Saturday. It's good for most time zones. I know tonight is not good for most time zones. Yeah. Some people are staying up late. Um, but uh, Darcy is unfortunately sick. Uh, he was going to do today. Oh, it, yes. It was yeah. his Friday. Yeah. We were going to do it at noon, but he was sick. So. He's, he's, he's recovering. Tanya stepped in. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. I would love to see the graph showing homebrews per year for the past two decades and see the trajectory. Well, we have I have it for the last five. Mm -hmm. um, you'd have to go to... Um, um, what's his name? <laughs> that has Arena the, Foot? Arena Foot, sorry. Yeah. Arena Foot for ones before that. He, yeah. he, he writes the books on them and yeah. keeps track of them. He would have a good, but uh, that would be a very interesting good graph. Data. Good data, yeah. Because uh, if you go back to like 94, 95 was yeah. the first one. So there's like one or two that year. Yeah. <laughs> and it goes up and <laughs> up and up. increase. And over the past five years, they've done nothing but go up, I believe. Mm, nice. Up and up and up. So nice. more and more That's all the good time. Stuff. I'd have to check that out. Okay. Okay. So, let's uh, check out 95? how to vote. Arena Foot says 95. Bit. 95, yeah, I knew it was something like that. Okay. Yeah. So, how, how this voting's working. So, before we start unleashing the, the votes and everything, we want to make sure everybody knows what they're doing. So, like I said, today, uh, it begins February 3rd, tonight, 6 p.m., um, there's a graphic I made today <laughs> in a hurry. Um, this is all the categories right here, and we'll go through these. Mm. I never know what I'm doing. I just wing it. <laughs> <laughs> and so let's open the voting guide, and that's linked on the page. So it'll tell you everything you need to know about voting. Very nice. Um, come, come, come. There we go. Look that's, at that. You got your own manual for voting. That's not getting any bigger. Okay. Oh, well, that's okay. You don't have to... Let me bring up a PDF. Have to, people can read it themselves, too. No, I need to go over it. Okay. <laughs> you need to read it, is what you're saying. No, I need to read it for them. <laughs> because this is kind of the... Uh, the important part. The important part. Yeah. They, people need to know how to do it properly. Okay, I, I, I know you're bringing stuff up, but I really need to wash my hands. So. Oh, go do it then. Yeah. I'll be right back. Silly cats. There, let's use something that actually can zoom in. There we go. So the stupid sidebar, but that's okay. Okay, a lot of this is don't do this, but uh, I have to do say it anyway. Can you guys see that? Kind of. Um, so the voting process. Um, these are like don't. <laughs> Don't do this. Discussion of the merit of individual nominations is encouraged, but please try to keep your personal votes private. Mm -hmm. Don't say, I voted for this, I voted for that. Fair enough. It's not great. Yeah. Uh, your your vote shouldn't cast influence on somebody. Mm. It's, it's great not to, you know, don't go around showing signs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Not good. Uh, you may vote for projects you are a part of, but it's strongly encouraged you evaluate the full list of games with an objective <laughs> point of view. Don't just look for your games mm -hmm. and click yes and vote for them. Yeah. You may do that. You may think your game is the best. Yeah. 
you may think your game's the worst, but don't just vote for your game blindly. There are other games there. Um, voters must be an active voting, uh, active posting member on the Atari Age forums for at least one month. If you have not been on the Atari Age forums for at least a month, your votes will not count. Mm -hmm. So don't bother voting. Don't sign up just to vote because mm -hmm. that's happened in the past. And we got brigaded mm -hmm. and we had to get rid of all those votes because yeah. they're they're just coming to vote. Yeah. They're not coming to participate. Yeah. And they're usually it, because somebody has told them to come and vote. Yeah. And that's a problem. So. It's meant to be limited to Atari H forum members, right? Like that's yeah, kind of the idea. Well, yeah. it has to be because that's where the polls are. Yeah. Fair so enough. they have to be a member. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any member found submitting more than one vote using multiple accounts will have their votes removed and may find their vo forum account banned. Of course, don't mm. don't stuff the ballots. Don't don't make up multiple accounts. Who the heck would do that, RC70? Mm. People, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. People are the worst. Well, they're not the worst, but sometimes people <laughs> encourage, the best too. encourage others to encourage them, but it's not yeah. really the point to get, you know, yeah. 80 of your closest friends to vote. It's not the it's point. Not the it's point. just not the point. It's yeah. really nice if, if you have 80, 80 people supporting you. I think that's fantastic, yeah. but it's just not the point of this vote, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, use uh, Only use the binaries or video links provided in the fifth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. The nominated games are to be evaluated on the newest binary or video released in the calendar year of the competition. Mm -hmm. It's February now. The, comp the, the cutoff was December 31st, 2022. Mm. People can't keep updating their games. And, you know, at the end of February, they released this amazing yeah. updated version. No. It doesn't count. You have to use the links and the binaries in yeah. as part so of it. So once, once, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Very fair. Yeah. Don't mention any uh, politics here. Yeah. It's, bad. <laughs> it's a bad idea because um, that just leads to badness. Yeah. We don't know anybody's politics and we'd rather not know. Yeah. <laughs> I like smoke strategy. Politics have no place anywhere, especially politics. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm in agreement. Uh, it is encouraged to play all the games in a category before voting so you can make an informed decision. That kind of is repetitive of another one up there. Um, the nomination uh, process. Um, let's see. Posts in the Atari Age forums that promote participation in the event without encouraging people to vote for specific entries are acceptable. But post requesting others to vote for specific entries will be removed. Okay. And they may find their Atari Age forum account disabled until the forum deadline is passed. Okay. So if you say vote for my game, that's going to be deleted yeah. and you may get your account suspended. So don't don't do that. Um, <laughs> well, excuse me. <laughs> that's that's all, don't worry, Dan. Uh, don't worry. It's all cool. It's all good. Uh, encouraging others to vote for specific entries instead of promoting general participation in the event gives a potentially unfair influence to those games. Entries that are found to be promoted by people associated with the creation of the game may find their game's inclusion removed from the contest. So if one of your games is in the contest and you say, vote for my game, your game might be disqualified. So definitely don't do that. And that has happened in the past, and there was vote brigading. Oh, yeah. And the votes went from a little bit to a ton in one yeah. day. And it was like, what just happened? Because yeah. I watched the votes. Yeah. Um, okay. So don't do that, because you'll get caught, and you'll get banned. <laughs> yeah. Uh, encouraging others to vote for specific entries instead of promoting... Uh, yeah, yeah. This is all very redundant. Okay. Um, so, here's an example. My homebrew <laughs> game... Stop laughing. No, no. I just, I just like the good. I oh, like the check mark you good. Have to and spell that, it out. Not acceptable. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My, this is a good example of what you should do and yeah. say if your game is in here. My homebrew game was nominated in the Atari Homebrew Awards. Check out all the great entries and vote at this link. Not acceptable is this. My homebrew game was nominated. Vote for my game at this link. No, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad. I can think of far worse, but okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't vote for any other game but yeah. mine or whatever. Sign up for five accounts and yeah. Yeah. yeah though that's obvious. Don't let Blah win again this year. <laughs> that's right. Even worse. Even oh, worse. my God. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure none of that. None of that. None of that. <laughs> um, Not that anyone does. We're just, these are just examples. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then there's there's terminology and breakdowns. I'm not going to go through that. That's super dry. Even more dry than what I just said. 
which was very I dry. I feel like this is the legal, the legal definitions at the bottom. Is it okay so, to yeah. tell people to not vote for my game? No. No, no. Carl G, not allowed. <laughs> I am a stickler for the rules. Without rules, it's chaos. Utter chaos. Um, so there's terminology that you can read through and then the exact definitions and yeah. eligibility. So you, if you're going, why didn't this game make it into this, into this year? it didn't fall within the eligibility and there's very very good reasons for each of those mm -hmm. um but read through them at your leisure yeah okay that's enough of that boring dryness that uh i do need to read um so what should we do first we are going to um announce some nominees i think mm -hmm. what do you think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we'll do a couple categories how many categories are there actually um, that's good. So we can figure out how many we need to do. Well, I'm going to make a homebrew game. I, <laughs> I'm threatening to do it. Um, so here are the categories. Uh, best Atari 2600 homebrew original. We'll go through these. I'll just count them. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And there's a 22nd one that is not voted on. Nice. That's voted by the nomination committee. That's yeah. for Lifetime Achievement Award. And that's already been assessed, I'm guessing? It's been decided. Okay. <laughs> they won't but be revealed. But it won't be revealed till the show. Till the award show. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so what did I say? 21? Oh, no. I think I said 21. So we're playing uh, 12 games tonight. Okay. Um, so we'll announce like two or three every time between games. Every two games or... You're going to make everyone wait for the announcements. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. They have to suffer like us. <laughs> suffer! No. We'll get through them quick enough. Yeah. Don't worry. Um, so we will announce... Let's do a bunch off the top. Well, why don't, which are the ones we're playing? Well, that's what I have to announce first. Because yeah. it's obvious. So announce those first two, and then we'll just slowly start releasing the rest. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Once so, we're playing first, yeah. Yes. So let me... I like that idea. Get up. The Atari 2600 Homebrew Original category. Mm. Now, this category is all-encompassing... This is like, this is an, this is, you're voting for the whole game, the gameplay, the graphics, the sound, everything to the, to do with the game. Mm -hmm. um, so, so this is like a summary of all parts. Yeah. Yeah. Not one specific thing, but the whole. Yeah. The whole. Building the drama slowly. <laughs> so the nominees for uh, Atari 2600 Homebrew Original, the other one is Port, this is the original games, are... Fall Pit, The Maya Cave by uh, Carmelo Cisano, also known as Cisano on the Atari forums. Mm -hmm. uh, these are in alphabetical order, so not one is better than the other. Uh, Grizzards by Bruce Robert Pocock, uh, BR Pocock. For programming, manual text, in-game artwork, sound effects. Uh, also Zephyr Sauls, uh, art for manual, label and cover and music. Uh, third nominee, Uzi the Goose Slime Quest by VHZC Games, uh, Vladimir Zuniga, uh, VHZC, yeah. we all know him. Um, Orbital War by Leandro Camara, Camera, got it. Uh, <laughs> HSW3ET, Programming, Design and Soundtrack. Uh, Hitor Masil, Programming Consultant. Uh, Vivian Pesciable, Pesciables, Pesciables? We'll oh, get, we're gonna we'll get them right we'll get them for the right. show. <laughs> um, design and text consultant consulting. No particular. These are in alphabetical order. Alphabetical. So, so they yeah. are in a particular order, <laughs> just not the one you think. Um, Razor's Edge by Red Button Games. Uh, Leonardo Santiago. Uh, design, development, graphics, music, sound effects, gameplay, illustration, text, final art, and Claudia Mari Maria for illustrations. And uh, the sixth person on the list, sixth nominated game, uh, Space Chaos by Steve Engelhart, also known as Atarius Maximus. So. Cool, cool, cool. Yay! Good stuff. Congratulations to all of those nominees. nominees. So I'm going to change the graphic to... Can I do the next one? Yes. This is Atari 2600 Homebrew Port. Port. Okay, ready? Yep. Go for it. 
Okay, uh, first on the list is Gorf Arcade by Champ Games, John Champo at Johnny WC for coding design, Nathan Strum at Nathan Strum for graphics, voice, packaging, artwork, and Bob DeCruzenzo um, at Pac-Man Plus for music and sounds. Second on the list is Load Runner by Tozai, Tozai, Tozai? Toys, Tozai, to Tozai Games? How did he pronounce it? I don't know. Anyway. Toz Toze. Toze? Toze, I think, yes. Toze Games. Uh, Deanoid Game Studios, uh, Dion Olsthorn um, at Deanoid for programming, and David Exton um, at Live in a Bin for packaging and artwork. And Kicks by Champ Games by John Champo at Johnny WC, Nathan Strum at Nathan Strum for Graphics, uh, Bob DeCruzenzo at Pac-Man Plus for Sound, and David Exton at Live in a Bin for Packaging and Artwork. I think he lives in a bin. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Live in a bin? I think live in a bin, or is it live in a bin? Live in a bin? Live in a bin. I think it's live in a bin. Yeah. Uh, Ruby <laughs> Q uh, by Silvio Magno. Um, at Silvio Magno and Vladimir Zuniga at VHZC for packaging and artwork. Tozai. Tozai. Yes, to that's how it is. Tozai. Tozai. To is that what I said? I think that's what I, I said. I think so. Tozai. Tozai. Uh, uh, next, Stratovox by Carlos Centeno at Raymond C., who I saw in the chat there somewhere. Congratulations. Mm. And Corey Kramer for packaging and artwork. And Word Guess, a 3200 port by Anthony Blackman at Cardboard Box. Mm, that's 32K. Don't, oh, bo sorry. don't bother reading those. Sorry, I, They're I, not really I, relevant. I actually didn't mean to. So, <laughs> so congratulations. <laughs> reading through it, yeah. To all the Atari 2600 Homebrew Port nominees. Yes. So I'm going to open those up for voting. Yeah. So let's do that right now. And uh, let's see. Where are they on the list? Work in progress. That one and that one. Excellent. Not unlock. Unhide. Woo! Did that work? Where are they? Oh, they're down there. Okay. Yay. So uh, I'm going to post the link for the forum. Uh, so you can go check it out. Uh, I missed if nominee games have to be available on cart or binary sufficient. Um, binaries are good. Um, cart is fine too. Like both are fine. Yeah. They just have to um, be completed for these categories. These are completed games. These are completed games. games. Okay. So either released on binary or released on cartridge. On cart. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Will all those have ROMs to play? Uh, in this category, let me check. I don't think there's many that don't have a demo or a binary available. Um, let's see. I do label them. Oh, there's one that does not have a binary. Okay. Um, but it is released on cartridge. It's Orbital War. But for every game that doesn't have a binary or a demo or some way to play it, there's a video link for you to watch it. Okay. That's if you don't own it, because there's a possibility that you own the game. Already have the that game. you bought it. Yeah. Um, and for ports, I don't think there aren't there aren't any. No, you can download all of those. Nice. And they either have demos or full games. Nice. So Good there's stuff. the link. Um, the voting is open. Go yeah. check it out. Make sure it looks right <laughs> and, <laughs> it, and it worked. And and the two categories are there. Also in there is that link that I was showing earlier for um, all the instructions as well. So the manual. The manual. The voting manual. <laughs> voting manual. So. Let's uh, play a game. All right. And we're going to start from the top in start the order the that top. we wrote it out. Uh, read it out. We're going to be playing Fall Pit, the Maya Cave, by uh, Carmelo Cisano. And I, I don't think we played this in a long time. I think it was an I, early 2022 game, and I don't think it? you played it I at don't, all. It does not ring any bells. A lot of the other ones do, but I'm oh, not. There you go. It. Ground Trooper got has has the game, so oh, he has nice. a very. Easy way to evaluate nice, it. Nice, nice, nice. Um, so there you go. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, before we do this. Yeah. Um, actually, we should show something off. Oh, well. Mm. Yeah. Well, disclaimer it. <laughs> um, so as you can see in the corner there, um, on your oh, screens in the yeah, left. Look at that. We have a new design for the Atari Homebrew Awards. Yes. For reasons. And <laughs> for, 
Four reasons four James reasons. doesn't want to get into again. No. But that's okay. Oh, I didn't get into them last time. That's fine. No, it's just for reasons. Um, so I've redesigned this and... Yes. This is just a mock-up. This is just a mock-up. It's a little rough. It's, so a, it's, it's a work still, in progress. It's a work in progress, exactly. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show it right now. And and this award is for the best Atari Homebrew Award show. <laughs> of which there is only one. So Yeah. Actually, there are other Homebrew Awards shows. Um, so it is now an H at the top for Homebrew. Um, very a very uh, familiar design, but uh, there's an H for homebrew, or you can turn it upside down and go A for Atari homebrew awards. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and it also looks like a bridge, which is kind of cool too. Yes. So the great thing about this is that Tanya's making it, mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's been working on it for quite a while. <laughs> and the good thing is because it's made in house. We can actually put, possibly, possibly, possibly put the actual winner's name Names. on it this yeah. time. Yeah. Because before we, I, I ordered them from a company. Yeah. And I, I had to order them, but I couldn't get them stenciled yeah. or, or engraved because it would take forever to go back and forth and costly and blah 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, the Angry Viking Biker. Great name. Yeah. For following. Glad you're enjoying it. Um, so it's, uh, Tanya's getting better and better at this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I 3D printed it at first. Yes. And I'm because working on, on the molds. Yeah. Because it was 3D printed, uh, the surface was not completely smooth. So there's issues. We're working on that. We're working on it. So <laughs> we're working a, on that. This is a prototype yes. right now. But yeah. I, I love the design. It looks really, really good. Yeah. Hopefully. Does it involve glitter? It could. Ooh, it could it involve could. glitter. <laughs> right now we're thinking just I'm trying to keep it simple. Not everyone's into the glitter, but... Uh, yeah, just see through right see now. See through right, right now. Yeah. 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 But I love the design and... Um, yeah. Oh, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> for whatever <laughs> you're thanking me for. Oh, for thanking you, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's play some games. Mm -hmm. Okay, load her up. So we're going to be playing Fall Pit. Load. Load it up. Okay. Don't want this to be a five-hour broadcast. <laughs> uh, we won't be uh, first one. First yep. one? You can hold down the button to see what it is. Oh, I always forget. Fall, Fall Pit. Pit. My cave. Maybe I have... How many 2022 homebrews were in total? Go for it. So you collect the gold and get to the exit. And don't hit the jumping, things and don't jumping, fall down. Right there's right jumping. There's left climbing right. ladders. Oh, boy. There's rats and spiders. Oh, it's oh. My goodness. Maybe I did pay that play this. Really? Maybe. Yeah. So there's gold on the top, there's gold on the bottom. You don't want to fall. Don't want the creatures. There we go. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit for the peoples out there. Give me the gold. There we go. Oh, number of homebrews. Total number of homebrews. Uh, 365 for the whole year. Those are awards are great. And I like the glitter in the, in the, the glitter in the keychain that I got a PRG. Yeah. Mr. Zona says. Oh, I oh, remember I'm meeting glad you. you like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Glad I you enjoy the keychain. I enjoy glitter and things. So Tanya has been doing, uh, arts and crafts for a little while. I have been. Ha oh, you got bit nope. by the rabbit. No, I didn't. I have. It went down. No, I, I have. No, down. lies, lies, <laughs> lies. This is I'm kind of an three, homage. Right? I have to get three? You, three is, you don't have to get three, oh but. Oh my God, he's fast. Mm -hmm. Ah! Didn't mean to fall, go up. Fall pit berry. <laughs> fall pit berry. <laughs> yeah. This is obviously an, an homage to Pitfall. It's got some some elements. It's got very cool water at the bottom. Oh. Is there not another one? I thought there's three. Did you go all the way to the end? Yeah. Oh, I guess there's only two. All right, well, I'm getting the heck out then. It's got rats. Um, and it's kind of got similar looking levels. Oh, you got a bit, tiny bit of it. Yeah, it is about the amount of time you're touching, I think. Yeah, there's no time limit on this, but it's how long you touch the enemy for. And I believe you have the health, the same health through the whole game. So it, it carries over. I don't think you get um, bonus health, but I can't remember. It's been a little while. Let's see, it's at 118. 
Yes. So, yeah, it just carries over. So, we'll, we'll let you play to the end of this level, and then we'll oh. switch over. We'll ran right into it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. You do definitely have to be moving. Oh, don't say delay! Oh, no. Let me fix that. I thought I had it fixed. I thought I had it fixed. It was fixed. Yeah. It's going to go away for a second, Ugh. but it's going to come back. Don't worry. Ugh. Okay. It should be fixed now. Ah. It's probably because I had it on. I know how to fix it, and I think I know the permanent fix. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. It's because, yeah, the movement. You have to be moving before you... It's coming. Ah. Oh, you almost got there. Ah, it's really messing me up now. So I figured out what the audio straying issue was. Ah. Oh, have you found a ladder? Hmm? I'm so, sure there's another ladder somewhere. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, it was, um, <sighs> ah, <laughs> almost dead. dead. So okay. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, dead. it's game okay. over. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Working fine for me in Australia. Oh, good. Okay. So we'll get on to, should we announce some more? Yeah, let's announce some more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's restart, right? Um, nope, nope, just... Reset? Well, we're going to announce some more games, so... Reset. So, the Fun. next category, if you want to... Um, next one? Kind of start reading it. Okay, uh, next category is Atari 2600 Homebrew. Um, under 4K, shall we say. Original. Original. Have to be very specific. Sorry, original. Under 4K original. So, wait a second. I'll get the graphic up there for that. There we go. Okay. Ready for Atari 2600 Best Homebrew Under 4K or Under Original. 4K or Under. You know that symbol. Come on. I was going to say less than or equal to, but that didn't sound quite right. <laughs> less than or equal to 4K. 4K or under. 4K yeah. or under. And here they are. All right. Go for it. Okay. Number one, Legendary Spear by David Christensen. That's at Dave C. Uh, a two, again, in alphabetical order. Pin Finger by Grocer Games. Kevin Kelly at Kev Kelly. Three, Raptor by Andrew Polly at Armscar Coder. Fourth is Spiders and Flies by Game Select. Ricardo Pym at Ricardo Pym, who did design, development, gameplay, instruction manual, and texts. Everaldo Bonifacio, gameplay. Solo Santiago, illustrations and art. Vroom by Thomas Yench at Thomas Yench and Corey Kramer, packaging and artwork. And Zero Page Homebrew the Game <laughs> uh, by Leandro Camara at HSW3ET. I had nothing to do with the game. <laughs> it's allowed in. <laughs> I have no influence on the game. There we go. Who's this Zero Page Homebrew game? Uh, yeah. Congratulations yes. to all those people. Uh, best homebrew uh, game for Can Under, mm -hmm. original. Um, and we split out that um, quite a while back. I think it was the second um uh atari homebrew awards because uh it was very hard to for them to compete with the full games with the like really the, the 32k games understand yes yeah, understand. and so we thought it would be really nice to have a category for the 4k and under yeah. games yeah and uh it's worked out really really well yeah and it really shines a spotlight on those people who want to get their games really compacted yeah. into a nice small package so yeah. congratulations yep yeah. Congrats, Ricardo Pim. I see him in there with a pretty happy smiley <laughs> Big face. smiley face. Yeah. Mr. Zarnawoop says, I have a clear favor, but I'll temper my enthusiasm as to not challenge the rules. <laughs> Watch out. I'm temper, watching you. Temper. <laughs> oh, beautiful black cat. Oh, he's bitey right now. Yeah, he is. I have, I have a black cat, and he's adorable most of the time, but he can be a pain in the butt. Yes. Oh, of course. Yeah. Look at this cutie. Yeah. Oh, he's adorable. Also fighty. Yes, he's bitey right now. Yeah. <laughs> Because he accidentally touches, you know, belly or his back, yeah, he back gets paws. Yeah, a little and he's like, bit nah. sensitive. Nope, that's nah. not allowed. Okay, so let me change the graphic, and we'll do the next category. Yeah. Um, so this is the same except for ports. 
So this is 4K and under, Atari 2600. Port. Ports. Ready? Yes. Go for it. All right, we've got four eligible entries here. The first one is Apple Slayer uh, by July 2022 Atariando class. Oh, I have to tell you a little bit about that. Yeah. We did play it on the show. This, I don't know who did this okay. game because it was it was made by a student okay. of a class. Okay. And they didn't post the names of the people. Okay. But obviously if they win, I'll have to get in contact with yeah. the teacher yeah. or something. Yeah, we'll get some names there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, okay, uh, number two, Einvader by Owen Cooper at Coop Devil. And whenever we say at... It's that's their Atari age. Their Atari age name, yes. Yeah. Um, Invaders from Andromeda by Carmelo Cisano at Cisano, and it's Connor Time by Insernosoft at Insernosoft. There we go. Congratulations. Excellent. And it's very hard to do a 4K port of a game like of another game because there's not much room in 4K. So congratulations to those people. Yes. So let's get on to the next game. Yes. Uh, which is a Grizzards. Excellent. Um, by B.R. Pocock. Quite a long game. We'll only have time to play oh, a tiny snippet of it. Tiniest bit. So I encourage you to it's an RPG, so. play all these games mm -hmm. at your own leisure. You have two weeks um, to concentrate on any of the categories that you want. Um, or if you have categories that you already know about, that'll make it easier for you. Ready. And we do have the um, Atari Vox plugged in because it does use voice, this game. And a number of the games we're going to be playing today use voice as well. Uh, NTSC. Yes, we are in NTSC land. I always have to do a double check. <laughs> Just <laughs> in case. Nor and North America. Okay. <laughs> Rizards. Oh, 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 no, no. Uh, we have to play this on the Uno cart. Do we? Yes. Ignore that. Because of a save game or because it needs to have a save game slot? We're going to... we're gonna um, Skip to the next one and go back to it? Skip to the next one it? while I load this one. Okay, fair ready. enough. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, uh, what was the load runner, was it? Uh, no, Ooze at the Goo Ooze Slime the Quest. Goo. Okay, we'll go back to Grizzards in a quick moment. Yeah. This one... That's my system. Is it? No, not 01F169. Yeah. Did start up a little bit. Oozy the goo. Oh, Oozy the goo. So cute. As per usual, VH said she has and always has fun games um, with cute characters. Always. Not good. Time is a ticking. Yep. Good old maze game. So you have to get to the end of the maze. Don't gotta, get hurt. You gotta get me some chicken. And that gives you extra uh, life or extra time. Floor chicken. Yep. Floor chicken. Yum yum. Other stats that I want to announce, but I can't announce. No. Ah! Oh my goodness! I'm like there's people that are fast. nominated in multiple categories, but oh. we haven't announced those categories. Oh, like, I see. So well, we would kind of give it away if I said. Always save it for another show too. There's gonna be lots to no, talk no, about. No, no, I have to announce. No, but the number of people or. Well, I'm good. People will find out. Yeah, that's true. Right tonight. Oh, I didn't open up those uh, categories. I'll open them up very shortly after I transfer this. Mm -hmm. go it's on here do, 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 do. navigating the maze same delay oh why does my system vex me so is it vexing your system it is there you go now it should be fine Go 
that oh. way. What is that? I didn't see that before. Maybe we, me. maybe we played an earlier version. Warning me off. <laughs> it's like, don't go this way. Go the you other way. You want to go this way. Well, which one is the arrow? Is it for the up okay. or the bottom? Okay. <laughs> Can you remember It's kind of like was. a giant Pac-Man without the ghosts. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. As always, uh, VHZC's uh, traps are doing double duty. Yeah. Going through multiple uh, floors. I can outrun them. Oh, I know. Just trying to remember where I'm supposed to be going. Not there. Not there. <gasps> Oop. Oop. Munchy guy. You have to get the fire to melt that guy or something. Oh, there's, yep. a, there's a, a knife somewhere. Um, Stabby stabbies. Anyway, I don't want to play it for too long. Nope, but that's nope. no good. Nope. nope. <laughs> Next one. I swear I've been this way already. Maybe. Yay, nope. You have not. Brave. Woo. Yay. You got the copyright symbol. Or whatever that was. Oh, dead end. Okay. Okay. We have lots Can of games to get on? through. Adventure Aspect of the Mazes, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now we're going to play Grizzards. Bring on the Grizzards. My system does not agree with games that use... No, you have to, I have to do stuff. What, no, but what, what am I... Uh, SD card content. Okay. Don't know the Uno card as well. And today's as, uh, date? No, we don't use it very much. What, what is today's date? <laughs> well, it's February, <laughs> it's February. And it's 2023. I'm like, so uh, that'll give you some hints. All right. <laughs> uh... There we go. Yes. Might as well resume. Um, uh, Angry Viking asks, I just want to ask you if uh, you both ever play Atari ST on your channel, because I have to admit the Arta Atari ST is my favorite Atari. That is the only Atari we don't have. <laughs> we play 2600, 5200, 7800, uh, Lynx, Jaguar. I think that's it. <laughs> Those are all of them. But not Atari ST. No. Oh, got it! Destroyed! No! Game audio is a bit loud. Victory! Thank you. I turned it down a bit. Let me know if the, uh... Oh, the game audio. Oh, God. I just turned down the... Oof, I'm pretty strong. Okay. Injured. I think we've got it. Now. Yeah, game audio. I was like, oh, it was during while I was speaking. So I'm like, oh, now I've turned down the speaking. Then I've turned it back up again. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, are you thinking of getting Atari ST in the future to play on your channel at all? No, not really. Um, there's very, very little Atari ST homebrew, if I am not mistaken. So... And I've already been fully invested into Atari 8-bit computers now, <laughs> so I just cannot... I don't have any more room for stuff. That is the other problem. That's the other problem. Money and room. So, so this, as, as people can see, this is a, a vast RPG um, that talks a lot. And... Um, you get to fight creatures, and you get to learn attacks, and you get to solve puzzles, Atari Portfolio. No, I don't think so. 
Tar the audio is still major loud. Oh, it is. is. It? Yeah. Super loud. There you go. It's blowing the ears out. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. alert burnt edges. Ooh. I don't know what that means. Well, I thought you were monster. killed. Oh my god. No, but now they come after me. Horrid slime. Horrid. It's a slimy trick. Whoop. So I'll let you finish this fight. Okay. And then we'll stop. Okay. <laughs> this is a very long game, so. And we are just giving a little touch and a little hint of each of them. Yeah. Ooh, I learned first aid. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, everything should be a little bit better now, Carl G. Thank you. And RC70. Hmm. How, one more to go. I can't remember how to check on my... Oh, your stats? I don't know what burnt edges is. Oh, it's an attack. Possibly. Guilt! Nice. Victory. <laughs> BR Pocock. Very long, like four hours and 30 minutes if you rush it. Of course you oh, can. BR Pocock can rush it in four hours and 30 minutes. Stats. Oh, that's it. That's what I couldn't remember. How much health? Oh, eight. Oof. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if that's can good I, or not. Oh. Oh, no, just one screen. Okay, yeah, couldn't remember if there's potions or something I can use. It's been a while since I played, so good there stuff, go. though. Good stuff. Thank you. Select for stats. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay, so let's get to some more nominees. Um, okay, let me get the next one. What is it? Graphics. Mm -hmm. Original graphics. Atari 2600 graphics for original game. There it is. Okay. Everybody ready? It is Grizzards by B.R. Pocock. Yay. Bruce Robert Pocock. We just played it. Which we just played. <laughs> <laughs> um, for uh, programming, manual text, uh, in-game artwork, sound effects, Zephyr Sauls, art for manual, label and color, and music. Uh, Legendary Spear by Dave Christensen, Dave C. Uzi the Goo Slime Quest by VHZC Games, Vladimir Zuniga, VHZC. Raptor by Andrew Pauly, Armscar Coder. Razor's Edge uh, by Red Button Games, uh, Leonardo Santiago. Uh, design, development, graphics, music, sound effects, gameplay, illustrations, text, final art, and Claudia Mar Maria for illustrations. And Zark Stars 2 Ground Force by Leandro Camera. HSW3ET. Uh, programming, design, and soundtrack. Hator Messel, uh, programming consultant. Vivian Pasebas, design and text consulting. Kenny Smith, uh, cover illustration. And Leonardo Santiago uh, for hardware. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And as of note for that, mm. all games for 2600 are eligible for graphics. Okay. There are two games, 4K and under, That's in impressive. that category. Yeah, very One impressive. of them is a 2K game. Yeah. And it went up against like a hundred other games. That's amazing. That's it's that's absolutely astounding. That that that's a real uh, achievement, I think. It uh, is. Yeah, getting yeah. on that list. And uh, then we're gonna go for take a look at the nominees for Atari Twenty Six Hundred Graphics Port. Let me get the graphics up for that. Getting a little bit faster at this. There we go. Glad I decided to cut graphics from the idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In best game already, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be uh, multiple uh, games in multiple categories. Uh, okay, so Atari 2600 graphics port. So port is a game that is made from an existing game. Uh, could be an arcade game, mm -hmm. could be a game from another platform, yeah. could be a computer game, but it is recognized as a game that has been made before. It has enough elements mm -hmm. and enough similarity to that original game. So, Atari 2600 Graphics Port. Uh, Gorf Arcade by Champ Games. John Champo, Johnny WC, Coding and Design, Nathan Strum. Uh, graphics, voice, par packaging, artwork. Bob DeCrescenzo. Pac-Man Plus, Music and Sounds. Mm. Invaders from Andromeda by uh, Carmelo Cisano. Load Runner by Tozai Games, Dionoid Game Studios, Dionoid, Dion Olsthorn, Dionoid for programming, David Exton, 
uh, live in a bin, <laughs> packaging artwork. Kicks by Champ Games, John Champo, Johnny WC, Nathan Strum. Uh, for graphics, uh, Bob DeCrescenzo, Pac-Man Plus for sound. David Exton, uh, live in a bin for packaging artwork. Ruby Q uh, by Silvio Mogno uh, and Vladimir Zuniga, VHZC for packaging artwork. And Stratavox by Carlos Centeno, Raymond C, and Corey Kramer for packaging and artwork. Congratulations to all the nominees for Atari 2600 Graphics Port. Um, so I'm going to get you playing the next game, which is Orbital War, which we actually have a copy of. So Excellent. You're going to play it one player, so that's going to be difficult. <laughs> Where is Orbital War? Got it somewhere there. I do. Do you have it on the... Uh... Ooh, it may not be up here. Okay. It may be over here. Playing with my sharp little black kitten over here. Vicious, vicious cat. Yeah. Are you vicious? You know what? We're going to skip that one and while I vicious look for cat. it. Vicious cat. Vicious. I can't locate it at you the moment. There. Stay. Okay. Stay. Yeah, you're gonna skip. We're gonna skip that one. Yes, I'm gonna open the the voting for uh, the other categories. That's why I want Tanya to play. But we're gonna skip that one and go to uh, Razor's Edge, of which I have the cartridge and I saw it, which is right here actually. Perfect. Actually, there's a demo for this, isn't there? We have to. We should play the actual. The demo. I think we have a demo Ooh. for this. Okay. If you can look for it. Yeah. Look for it, or is it in the... Well, not look for it, but go in there. This one. Yes, yeah. there you go. Now open up all those categories. Okay, kitten. You're trouble. And you know how to play this, because we just played it not too long ago. Well, you played it. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't play it... At all? No. Oh, no. I've already forgotten what the... How, what is what is the... Uh... Uh, run away and practice. I think there's kick and punch, so... I can't remember. That's it. Oh, up and, and then down and button, and then just button. Couldn't quite remember that. So I'm going to open up the uh, 4K ports and originals. And the graphics ports and originals. Right? I've read them both. Yes. Might be back. Already forgotten. Mm -hmm. Remember the jump. There we go. Okay, that was jump. So the category should be open now. Oh yes, there is a defend as that's well. That's defend. That's punch. Yep. And then that's kick. There you go. Is the, and that's it, right? Those are the three. I, yes, I believe okay. so. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Votes yet? Which is good. Don't vote immediately. Mm, Make sure you know what uh, what you're voting on. Oh, there's one vote. Oh, we got a boat! Woo! <laughs> one boat already, at least in one. Ah, knife guy. Is this game playable with two buttons? No. I don't believe it is a two-button game. But it's just a single-button game. What was I going to do? Oh, I was going to look for Orbital War. That's what I was going to do. Where is the Orbital War? Cool, cool. Oh, there it is. Just doesn't say it at the end on the packaging. That's why I couldn't see it. There we go. 
Thank you for joining us, Angry Viking Biker. It's off to bed. It's very late. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, 3.15 a.m. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for joining us in the chat. Arenafoot says this should be hacked into a narc port. That would work well, yeah. So some plastic on the box here. Nice. Well, this is my box that I put on it. But there are new boxes that I got that have protective plastic for some reason. Get that cartridge out here. I'm doing one, ah. one life left. Now, some of them they learn your moves. Remember? Um, yeah. So some of these guys, if you punch, oh, you must have got hit by a knife or something. No. Was Looks that like, my? I thought I was. You're the ponytail. Which, but I thought my health was on the left. I thought so. Because my health was full. Oh, this is the demo. Oh, yes, <laughs> this is the demo. So you okay. actually... You I'm like, I died? <laughs> it should say demo over, actually, shouldn't it? Yeah. That makes sense. So okay. you, you beat the demo. <laughs> Good job. 3.15 is early, not late. Well... <laughs> yeah, technically. It's only early if you get oh, up. I have to sync it every game. Is oh, it? Oh, yes. No. I'll have to investigate that further, obviously. <laughs> okay. So let's go. Should we play another game or should we do an announcement? We should probably no, play, play this another game. game. Yeah. yeah. We'll do two at a time. Play two games. Read a bunch. Read a bunch. Yeah. That sounds like a good uh, rate. We're going to take a look at Orbital War, uh, which is nominated for uh, a homebrew original, best homebrew original. Uh, was it nominated for? No. Razor's Edge was nominated for um, best graphics original mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. As you can see, very nice graphics. Very on that. nice graphics, yeah. So not a big surprise there. There we go. Orbital War. this last time. Yeah, Darcy and I played this. I don't understand. Important. So you are moving, you're um, shooting the bullets that are coming down. What am I trying to shoot? See the bullets that are coming down? Oh. The red bullets? Yep. You press the button. It takes a little bit for your bullet to get up there. You can also move up and down uh, the different, but it's probably easiest to stay at the bottom. Gotcha. You got it. Gotcha. Reset so things are in sync because it's been very naughty. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, you get blocked off the edges there. You can't go past. Right. Oh, <laughs> so being at the bottom rung is sometimes easier. Yeah. And you also want to shoot um, the ship at the top. That's your main your objective. Your goal? Yeah. But you also have to defend yourself yeah. against the. Uh, okay. It's very hard one player, like really hard. Do you usually play with two? Uh, it's much easier with two because then two people can do um, two things at once. It's not going very well. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. How do you decide launching from Harmony Encore versus Plus Cart? Um, I normally play everything on the Harmony Encore. Um, my system has some issues with games over 64k on the Harmony Encore. And that's just my system for some strange reason. So that's when I switched to the Uno cart. There are a few Uno specific games that you have to play on the Uno cart. Ah. Um, but I don't think any of them, there's like, I think there's one that's public right now. Yeah, 
Darcy and I got close to close-ish to winning. <laughs> yeah. But we didn't. Oh, I think win. it. We got pretty far. So that those red. Um, oh, those green things block your shots. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> and if the red dot doesn't hit land, then you don't get hurt. It has to hit land. <sighs> you got it. No, I didn't. Oh, it didn't flash. I don't know. Nothing flashed so far. Oh, every time the red dot hits your land. I, I haven't seen anything bottom. flash. No. I don't think. Here it Have comes. I? Watch it. Flash. What flashes? Your land. When My it land? hits the land. Watch. Flash. Oh, there. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I was thinking it was like a <laughs> score or something. No, no. Oh, so close. You almost got there. Yeah. So with two players, one person can defend and one person can be on offense. Which makes it a lot easier. Hit once. Ah. Nope. Hmm. Do you get more points if you hit the red bullet from a higher orbit? I believe you do. Yeah, you're very limited on your movement at the higher orbits, though. Yeah, so it makes it a little bit harder to get it at the higher orbit. You can't actually get the guy at the top from the bottom. Like you, you have to be like up here. Really? Well, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't I, think so. I, I couldn't get it to go past. Because you keep hitting things. So no, no. When I, it hits those green dots, I it know, stops. I know, but it, it doesn't seem to get past that. I tried to do Hit this. Right the... Okay, hold on. There. It doesn't go past that last oh, green line. Oh, interesting. I don't remember that being a, a thing, an issue. So I don't know if I have to hit a certain number of red dots or... We'll try to go right to the top and do it. Which top? This top? Can you go up one more? No. Yeah, try and shoot from there. Try and shoot. No. No. Unusual. I think it's the two-player options. Almost dead. <laughs> Almost dead. Cool, though. There's a lot going on on the screen all There's at once. There's a lot. It's, it effectively uses the horizontal plane very well to do a lot horizontally, mm. which is what... Um, what the Atari 2600 is good for. Um, my manual's in Portuguese, unfortunately. And I don't have the oh, <laughs> English oh. text manual handy. As far as, as, far as uh, maybe I have to kill the things underneath, or no? No, they just keep coming. Oh, no! Your world is Destroyed. on fire! On fire. Oh. Okay. Nice. Let's announce the next category. Which is music and sound for original and port. So let's get... If you can hold this. Mm -hmm. Music and sound? Yep. That's All it right. Yet. Do original first. So Atari 2600, best music and sound original. Ready? All right. Go for it. All right. Grizzards by Bruce uh, Bruce Robert Pocock, Bureau Pocock at star-hope.org. Uh, star Programming, manual text, in-game artwork, sound effects, and Zephyr Sals, art for manual, label and cover and music. Uzi the Goose Slime Quest by VHZC Games, Vladimir Zuniga at VHZC. Orbital War by Leandro Camera um, at HSW3T Programming Design and Soundtrack Hater Messiel Programming Consulting Vivian Pesiabes Design and Text Consulting Pesabes Pesabes <laughs> and we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure it. Out. <laughs> Raptor by Andrew Polly at Armscar Coder. Uh, Razor's Edge by Red Button Games by Leonardo Santiago at Leonardo Santiago. Design, development, graphics, music, sound effects, gameplay, illustrations, text, and final art. And Claudia Maria Illustrations. And Space Pac-Man by Game Select, Ricardo Pim at Ricardo Pim, Concept and Programming. And Wilson Gutierrez, Assembly Code and Production. Wow. Big uh, South American representation. Nice. In there. Half and the, of the sound people. of music, the, the music and sound. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Now we're going to announce the 
Atari 2600 music and sound for ports. Yes. Music and sound for ports. There we go. And go for it. All right. So, Gorf Arcade by Champ Games, John Shampo at Johnny WC Coding and Design, Nathan Strum at Nathan Strum Graphics Voice Packaging Artwork, Bob DeCrescenzo at Pac-Man Plus Music and Sounds. Invaders from Andromeda by Carmelo Cizano at Cizano. Hey, V8 Uh Load Runner by Toze. Tozai. Tozai. That's... Now I I'm all so. messed up. I said Tozai <laughs> first. Uh, by Tozai Games. Uh, Deanoid Game Studios. Dion Allstorn at Deanoid for programming. And David Exton at Live or Live in a Bin. <laughs> One of those. Uh, for packaging and artwork. Kicks by Champ Games. John Champo at Johnny, Johnny WC. Nathan Strum at Nathan Strum for graphics, Bob DeCrescenzo at Pac-Man Plus for sound, David Exton at Live in a Bin or Live in a Bin <laughs> packaging and artwork, Ruby Q by Silvio Magno at Silvio Magno, and Vladimir Zuniga at VHZC for packaging and artwork, and Word Guess by Anthony Blackman at Cardboard Box. Excellent. Congratulations Woo! to all those wonderful musicians and sound engineers yes make these games sound excellent yes um so i'm gonna open up the voting for those categories now hey vhzc you've been announced for a couple categories yeah. now and helping out with a bunch of games as well lucky enough to pick up load runner prge yes. wonderful game uh, indubitably it is a good game what am i looking for I am looking for what you're going to play next. Yes, next game, next game. It is uh, Space Chaos by Atarius Maximus. Ooh. Have so I played let's... Space Chaos before? I don't know. I hear names like Space and, and, and space I just Space is go, hard. Hmm. Space something. I played a lot space. of Space games. Which Space game is this? <laughs> Back in the 80s, everything was named Space. That's true. Ready. Ready. Hey, Grey Cat. There we go. And let me open up the uh, sound. Space Chaos. Space Chaos. Not the basic program. It's not compiled. <laughs> there we go. The Atari 2600 Music and Sound Original Imports are now open for voting. So go for it if you know all the games. Uh, well, is, is it on the screen? Oh. Uh, n yes, it is. Okay, good. Yeah. Auto fire on? Oh, uh, probably. Yeah. Generally, generally works better with the auto fire on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. Okay. Now you have to uh, go rescue the dudes. I, if I remember correctly. Oh, my correctly. goodness. Okay, I get it. I get it. Uh, and because they're running out of oxygen. Oh, There you go. Now bring him back down. Ah, okay, I know. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh, the auto fire is on. Yeah. I think I went auto fire. Space, space, space. <laughs> space, space. The space, space game. Kittens. No. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised nobody named their game Space Space. Just to <laughs> emphasize the game is really about space. Turmoil vibe on this game. Yeah, huge turmoil vibe. Um, yep. Turmoil didn't have oh, rescues at the top. <laughs> um, and also you could go in to get extra stuff on turmoil. Can I hit that thing? I think that's invincible. So. It looks like something that would be invincible. It's a piece of cheese. So I can't do it. Do I get rid of him? Now you've dropped him off, and now you go get the other guy. All right. You have to get him before the air runs out at the top, I believe. Or that's for the level. Yeah, 
that's for the level. Yeah, yeah I remember I just buying cartridges out of bins um, back in the 90s for Atari 2600 games and Intellivision games and ColecoVision games uh, for the ColecoVision and half the things were called Space. Mm. And I could never remember what game was what because there's like dozens of games with space in the title and I'm like, oh, I can't remember which space game is which. Oh, I think you can chase him at the top, go left and right. I'm not sure. Chase him? Sorry? Chase him at the top? Why would I chase him at the top? So you don't have to wait for him to come oh. to you? Because there's a limited amount of oxygen. So that bar across the top that's moving, that's your oxygen. Uh, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. you can okay. chase him. Okay. That's good. Hurry, people are dying up there, Charles says. Chop left her in space. <laughs> Chop left her in space. Uh, see, if I go too fast, I, I, I'm getting the hang of it now, though. Oh, definitely. Yeah. After and then before. Do I pick up the box? No. I, it's been so long since I played this. Oh, oh suffocated. Oh, no. Out oh, watch the next ship. No, you, you did it, I guess. Oh, okay. I can't remember how many you have to People get. Are Yeah, I remember Darcy and I playing this. No, nope. it does kill. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. There you go. There's a quick <laughs> little cool. view of that. Obviously, we're not going to play full extended um, gameplay playthroughs of these because we have played them on the show. Yeah. You can reference those or, of course, play them yourself. Absolutely play them yourself, yeah. Okay, so we've played through all of the Atari 2600 Homebrew Original okay. games. Okay. Um, we should probably announce... Two more. Two more. Sounds good. And now we're into the works in progress. Okay. Game. So these are games that are not finished. They're not declared completed yet. Yep, they're works Kills. in progress. Bad. Bad cats. What is he looking for? Oh, I don't know. He's just what moving stuff for? around. What do you want? Treats. Are you looking for treats? Treats. Um, Atari 2600 Work in Progress Original. Ready? I'm ready. Here they are. All right. Dark Keep by Edward Smith at EA Smith, Kevin Mosley at Kevin Mus 3 for the graphics. Game of the Bear 2, Much to Bear. <laughs> Game of the Bear, Too, too much, much to, to bear. bear. I know. It works both ways. I love it. Uh, at VHZC Games by Vladimir Zuniga at VHZC. Lineman by Grocer Games, Kev, Kevin Kelly at Kev Kelly. Lord of Biscay by Marco Johannes at Marco J and Dyfed Hitchings at Jam Tex. Um, Refractor by David Christensen at Dave C. Hope I said that right. <laughs> uh, Pantheon 2 by Mike Indovina at Satyr's Faction. Congratulations Yay! to everybody. So these are works in progress. Works that in progress. The nomination committee thought that were original. good games. Yes, original. Original works in progress. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go to the ports. Works in progress ports. Yes, Atari 2600 work in progress port. Getting it ready. There we go. All right. Here they are. And... 241K. Yeah, it's two, a big game. <laughs> yeah. 2600 Words by Carl Garrison at Carl G. Bomb Jack by Nick Sherman at Arlasoft. Boom by Chris Walton at CDW Programming and Nathan Strum at Nathan Strum for Graphics. Elevator Agent by Champ Games. John Champo at Johnny WC Coding and Design, Nathan Strum at Nathan Strum for Arts Art and Graphics, Pat Brady at Pat Brady for Music and Sounds, Space Taxi by Jeff Haber at Just Jeff, Top and Tom 2 by Thomas Yench at Thomas Yench. Excellent. Congratulations. Woo Good job. To all the people nominated uh, for Atari 2600 Work in Progress Original and Ports. Nice. So we are now moving on to playing some ports now. Uh, completed ports. Atari 2600 Homebrew. Ah. 
all over the laptop. Yeah. No, it's fine. Okay. So, the first one we're going to be playing uh, is Gorf Arcade by Champ Games. Yeah, I guess I should. Ursula is in the house. Oh, mm -hmm. hello, Ursula. Load it up. Gorf Arcade. So this is the demo of Gorf Arcade. And all these binaries that we're playing on the cartridges mm -hmm. um, are available for... Um, what's happening? I don't know. What did you do? I didn't do it. Try it. Try it again. Give it another, give it another go. That never works. No? <laughs> no. Uh oh. Load up. There we go. That looks better. That didn't do it that last nope, time? Nope, it didn't do it last time. Lies. Oh, uh, maybe it did. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to the next one while I figure out what's what's going What's happening to, on. with Gorf? Yes. All right. Did we, we didn't skip any other ones, did we? No, no, no. We're doing them in order. Orbital War load, we played? We played all of those. Okay. Uh, load Runner. Okay. Load Runner, and we'll f get Gorf Arcade up in a second. Yeah, I played on my other. The Gorfian Empire is on a coffee break. Yeah. <laughs> Newer Encore Cart, isn't it? It is. Oh, yes. let's just start it's it. It's the Encore one. Cart that I use all the time. Runner. Let me know if it's out of sync. I know it is, so I'm just going to redo it and drop the video for a second. There you go. So it's been misbehaving. Uh, nope. Oh, that was terrible. Why are you playing so bad? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We played many, many levels of this game. I know. I know. It's out of practice. I'm very out of practice. We haven't played it in a week. <laughs> Hi, kitties. Sound is now in sync. Excellent. Woot. You'll have to miss out on the fun. Uh, I think not required to read the username for exactly the same as the full name. Yes, I was going to tell Tanya that. Hmm. Thomas Yentz at Thomas Yentz. That's it's okay. Like... It's all good. <laughs> I just read what's on the page. <laughs> they have the full names. They have the full That's names. That's right. I do not question these things. Ah. Um, so, obviously, superb graphics on this one. Superb gameplay, excellent uh, adaption of the game. I don't know what's going on with Gorf, so we're going to put that on the Uno card. Maybe it's just having a fit with my Harmony Encore. I'm just going to move over. Well, I can't. Hmm. Just move over that one. You guys just all come down here. Thank you. What are you doing, Kat? You're very bad. There we go. Yes, you are being bad. Oh, yes, he's being are. a silly little cat. Are you being silly? <laughs> yes, I am. Feed me, please. I Feed want the treat. Oh, you're being so cute. <laughs> you're distracting me from my load runner game. Hi. Who are you rooting for? What's your Prisoner? pick? Are you rooting for the prisoner or the guards? Oh, in this game? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a zip file. Well, that helps. <laughs> That's why. What? The Harmony Encore can't unzip files? I ran out of time today, as you can tell. <laughs> VHSC, I need to get this game really good port. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a definite one of those must-buy kind of games. It has 150 levels, so... We put a lot of hours into it so far already. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, our ongoing After Dark series it is. is trying to get through this. What did we make it to? Level 30 oh, something? We did pretty good. I think we're up around level 40 now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We did beta testing for this one. So we, we played all the levels at one point. Three left. Mm. Oh. Yeah, no, I already explained to Carl, Carl, Carl G. Um, it's because, yeah, Encore doesn't like 64 plus 
8K games, but it's a 32K game. It's just that it's in a zip file, which is totally my fault. Uh oh. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Somehow rescued yourself. No, I knew what I was doing. <laughs> it was her plan all along. Of course, it was my plan all along. So after this, we'll announce some more games and I will unzip the zip file. <laughs> so we don't have to use the other card there. It's all good. It's all good. Ivory Tower Collections. This game, along with quite a few of others, is on my order list. Oh, that's a good question. What is on everybody's order list uh, for Atari Age orders? There's certainly enough games to go around. Good games on cartridge that just got released. Sorry. Oh, you finished Distracted. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Yay, low Good runner. job. Okay, let's go on to the next announcements. And I will unzip this while you read off the names. We haven't played Gorf yet, though. Oh, are you? That's what I'm doing. Okay. I have to unzip it. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go there. So the next category is, well, we're on to not Atari 7800 Ooh. homebrews, originals and ports. Okay. So let me get the graphic for... So just to tell everyone, all these graphics are bespoke and took me forever to make. <laughs> I know you don't care about my suffering, but uh, <laughs> they took a long time to make. Uh, are you ready? Atari 7800 Homebrew Original. Here we go. All right. Cartesian Chaos by Carl G at Carl G. Death Merchant by Steve Engelhart at Atarius Maximus and Dave Exton at Live in a Bin Additional Graphics. Does anybody know if it's live or live? <laughs> live in a bin, I'm just going to switch bin. it up every single time. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dragon's Havoc by Todd Fermansky at Revan Tooley. Drunk Witch by Carrie Kaxanen at Carrie. Jacks Are Better by Steve Engelhart at Atarius Maximus. Touchdown Challenge by Steve Engelhart at Atarius Maximus. Yep, Steve's got three on there. Way to go, Steve. Oh, my Steve. God. Wow. Yeah. Good job. Is that everything? Oh, congratulations. That's everything for Atari 7800 Homebrew Original. Congratulations. Okay. Now I uh, will switch it up to 7800 ports. Thank you, Mr. Zarnawoop. James appreciates it. <laughs> oh, see, consoling my suffering. Yes, oh, your excellent graphics. You. I care, says MK Smith. <laughs> I care. <laughs> uh, I feel better uh... now. I feel better. Took forever. It took hours, <laughs> hours. It's to amazing do this. how sometimes too you think something's gonna not take a lot of time and it end up taking taking way more than you expect. And right? the opposite too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So best atari 7800 best homebrew port is up next are you ready are you ready are you ready here we we're go we're all ready go all right atari 7800 homebrew port 1942 by paul lay at playsoft uh for the code constantinos gmlidis at tix for graphics Attack of the Petsky Robots by Chunky Pixel Games by Matt Smith at MK Smith and Mike Sarna at Revenge. Noel Aman for music and David Murray, originally coded by. Grazzy Mello, box and manual design and Brendan Carmody for box and manual art. Keystone Coppers by Muddy Vision, Lewis Hill at Muddy Funster. For the code, uh, graphics and special effects. Sound special effects. Sound effects, thank you. There's no special effects in video games. I, that, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bobby Clark at Synth Popalooza. Uh, Pokey Ragtime Specials. Matt Smith at MK Smith for music support. Bethany Hill for additional artwork. Robots Rumble by Chunky Pixel Games. Matt Smith at MK Smith. Bobby Clark at Synth Papalooza for sound, and Mark Sarna at Revenge for graphics and sounds. 
Venture 7800 by Peter Meyer at Pete YM5 for programming. Kamaz Kamikaze 212 for conversion. And Wordle by Chunky Pixel Games, Matt Smith at MK Smith. Mike Sarna at Revenge for the Dictionary Randomizer Selection Code. That's a very specific function <laughs> right there. Very specific. Congratulations. Woo! Some really great games on yeah. that list. Oh my goodness. Uh, do you have an award for best graphics in nomination presentation? <laughs> I've already awarded to myself. Yes, yeah. Uh, video games are all special effects. I suppose so. Mm. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. uh, more uh, visual effects. Special effects are like uh, things blowing up in the ground in yeah. re real life. Visual In terms yeah. of film terminology, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Tough competition here. Lots of good stuff. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yeah. If Lots you played all these games on this list, you'd be like, okay, these are amazing games. Okay, uh, so let's now play Gorf Arcade, now that I've unzipped it. Uh, okay. Ready. There you go. And I will turn those game, uh, categories on for voting for 7800 Homebrew and Original Gorf Arcade. Okay, this is good. Yay! Hooray, it works! I am the Gorfian Empire. <laughs> I am the Gorfian Empire. I am back from my coffee break. <laughs> yes. Just took a little uh, zip. Rest. There we go. They're unhidden. Gorf, Gorf, Gorf. Get left in. No cats. Don't get on there. There's water. So you have to make it to the final level. Show everyone the uh, oh, Gorfian right. mothership. I will try. You can do it. Did you pick easy? Oh, this is the no. There's no. I no, it's it, just it normal. does. This is standard. Okay. Oh, you smell okay? He smells okay? Yeah, oh, he doesn't stink. He never, never usually stinks. He stands. doesn't stink. <laughs> they create stink. That's cool. Create stink. They ex ex Exclude Ex the stink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he laughed at you. No. Ah, ah. That's a bad, bad start. Yeah, it's such an easy level. Ah, no, 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 no! Play defensively. I know, I'm getting distracted by cats. That's my excuse. Oh, you're running right into them. No, don't do Oh, laser attack. Don't like the laser attacks. No! Stop recalling your bullets. I know, I know. <laughs> Oh. oh! You can move up a bit too. I know. Oh, I'm panicking. Stop panic panicking. Cat. I am being a panic cat. The cats would prefer you to use the term scent rather than stink. <laughs> that yes. is true nostalgia. That is a much a much um, nicer way of putting it. Yes. Oh, level three! <laughs> oh, oh, right no. into it. Dead. Oh no. <laughs> one more, so, one more shot, one more oh, shot. Oh, I wanted to play. Oh, you can play. Yeah. You haven't played any yet. Yeah, so there you go. You can read off how many um, nominations Corf got. How many? Yeah, you can read them out. See if. See. How many? How, what? By counting them? Or do you have it at the, at the back? I don't have it. So you want me to count it? Yeah, we have it. Okay. Let's see here. Gore. Uh, 
Oh, sorry, sorry not original. A Atari 2600 port, uh, Atari 2600 graphics for port. Yep. And music and sound for port. Swept the categories. Swept them. Oh, the port. Yeah. Port. Can't be in both. It's either a port or it's not. One or the other. Uh, scene Gorf reminds me, why is it the early color video games like this and Wizard War displayed only red, yellow, and blue? Yeah, that is Definite interesting. Definite theme there. Was it a palette so it issue? Or, or a stylistic thing? Like, be like, these are bold colors. We want it yeah. to be really colorful. Because games came, video games came from black and white to begin with. So. And like the... It's a good question. They're just so contrasting. Oh my god. And like in the 70s, there was a 70s, 60s, 70s, a period of like really sharply contrasting colors and things. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's more the 80s, the early 80s. Damn it! It's in my last life. Yep. Okay, but well, we have to move on. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot escape the Gorfian. You guys Empire. will do better than us. Yes. <laughs> Don't bother putting in that score. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's announce the next categories. Uh, which are, we're still in the 7,800, and we're going to the work in progress. Okay. And let me cue those up. So, I... starting with Atari 7,800, work in progress original. 7,800, work in progress original. Okay, ready. Go for it. Boom. All right, we got Bernie and the Tower of Doom by Muddy Vision. That's Lewis Hill at Muddy Funster. <laughs> Game of the Bear, Polar Opposites by VHZC Games, Vladimir Zuniga at VHZC. Harpy's Curse by Todd Fermansky at Revan Tooley. Legend of Silver Peak by Steve Engelhart at Atarius Maximus. Uzi the Goo, Gaiden by VHZC Games, Vladimir Zuniga at VHZC. And Tunnels of Hyperion by VHZC Games. Vladimir Zuniga at VHZC. Congratulations! Yeah. VHZC has half <laughs> half the games in that category. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, way to go, VHZC. Yeah, congratulations. Getting, getting a lot of good games out this year. Yes. So yeah. Wow. He makes a lot of games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of good ones. Okay, so next is uh Atari 7800 Best Work in Progress Homebrew Port. Yes. All right, so. Ready? Uh, yep. Go. All right, Atari 7800 Work in Progress Port. We have Artie by Muddy Vision, Lewis Hill at Muddy Funster for coding and graphics, and Bobby Clark, Synth Papalooza, and Mike Sarna at Revenge. The Code Guru and Matt Smith at MK Smith for music help. Canon and D, D for Defense by VHZC Games, Vladimir Zuniga at VHZC. Lunar Patrol by Old Style at Old Style. Pac Man Energy Drink Edition <laughs> by Bob DeCrescenzo at Pac Man Plus. Penta, which was Pango. Uh, by 20th Street Arcade, that's Daryl Gunther at Daryl 1970, Paul Lay at Playsoft, and Pat Brady at Pat Brady, Music and Music Engine. Plum Luck DX, a port by Blake Smith at Smitty B. Congratulations! Congratulations! All those upcoming games. Oh, yeah, Smitty B, Smitty hooray. B hooray! Congratulations, Smitty B. All so right. I'm going to open those categories for voting now. So if you know all those games very well and mm -hmm. you know which one you like the best, you can, can vote. jump right in there, but you have some time to play them. You so. have two weeks to play them. Exactly. So lots of time. Congratulations, everyone. We're going to move on to playing the next game in the Atari 2600 Homebrew Port nominees, which is Kicks by uh, Champ Games. So load it up. Go for it. 
Bring on the kicks. Not the zip file. Not the zip. Doesn't know what to do zip. People have asked over the years, can't you just open zip files? It's like, well, it takes a lot of a lot of processing power for a poor little 2600. Mm -hmm. Well, it could use the arm in some way. Fill in those squares. I wonder if there's a specific name for an object that is made up of only right angles. Because those aren't squares necessarily. Whoa, Whoa. that was close. One no! Run! Oh my ah! god, another close call. <laughs> ah, cutting it, cutting it tight. Oh my you goodness. You know, those aren't squares or rectangles, but they all are 90 degree corners. True. I wonder if there's a specific name for that. Yeah, it is a great list of games. All these best of 2022. It's tree has time. Yum. Yum. Oh, yum. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. Tree time. Ah. Kittens. Oh, who did that for you? It's old style. Oh, thank you, old style. Oh, thank you so much. Are you hungies? Hungry for treats, they say. I'm going to take over because I don't want stinky hands. <laughs> You're gonna take over. No, I'll feed them. Oh, you feed them. There's so Just much have to fun wash to my feed. Hands after. Are you ready? So much fun to feed. Let's, let's switch over. You can see kicks in a very, very, very tiny bit. Is this the right place? Who gets what? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. They, they, ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, are you ready? Oh, and Sprite's off to a raging start with a one, zero. Right here. All right. Belt. Bring it. Oh, Sprite gets another one. Ring the bell. Sorry, what is wrong with you? Uh. Bring it. Bring it. Ring uh. the bell. Uh. Bring it. Atari, ring it. Bring it. Atari. Ring the bell. Four zero five zero. Atari. Oh, silly cats. Oh, finally. Kicks are for kids. 5-1. <laughs> 1 for Sprite. Six two for Sprite. Seven two for Sprite. Oh my god, Sprite is dominating. Yeah. Oh, Sprite's messing up. 8-2 for Sprite. Oh, oh, oh no. what did you do? 8-3 for Sprite. It bounced very badly. 9-3 for Sprite. I think, I think. Atari, Atari. Oh, God. He gave Atari. it to the wrong cat. There. Now he'll f forget about his issues. It's game point. And. 10-3 for Sprite. Oh my goodness. It is a massacre. This one was this one was bad. <laughs> and I'm gonna give Atari extra treats because he didn't yeah, get Yeah, he didn't many. get very many. Oh. Oh. Oh, the black cat's gonna eat them. <laughs> what are you doing? He just ate them all gobbled them all up. Hoover, Hoover, Hoover. <laughs> oh, that black cat. <laughs> Oh, stealing Atari's bell. Oh. oh. He's naughty. <laughs> oh, man. Younger brothers, eh? I died. Oh. So many, I kept going because I was drowning. Yep. Poor Atari. Ugh. Yeah. He gets shafted every time for the treats. So thank you, ah. old style. Did not expect that. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Had better runs. Your last life? Oh, nice. That was terrible. <laughs> that was a terrible run. <laughs> a bad fluffy. They're all, all bad fluffies. Sympathy treats, you know. Anyone got enough points to give Atari some consolation catnip? Oh. Now Atari does 
does dominate the cat now. Yeah. He, that's his. That's his jam. He. He. That's his jam. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. So if anybody has points for it's a consolation prize for catnip, Tari can have some fun and roll around in it. Woohoo! <gasps> Yay! Time for Chelsea and I'm cats, out. Thank you. Cats, cats, cats. Cats, 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 cats. Oh, we're almost out of catnip. Do we have another thing of catnip? Yes. Oh, okay. I bought more, but there's lots of catnip in the house. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Lots of catnip for you. I know Sprite doesn't... Oh, we didn't put up uh, a little sign. So we're playing Atari 2600 tonight. Oh, well, a little bit of everything, but yeah, I guess we're... Well, we're playing 2600. We're talking about everything. Yeah. yeah. And last uh... life, and it's over. Okay. It's all over. Go wild. Oh, Atari's so happy. He is. Um, apparently, uh, Sprite thinks there's still... Um, there is one there. Is there? Yep. Oh, there's a treat hiding, and uh, Sprite is going nuts. Atari's like, I got catnip. I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to some more uh, nominations. Thank you, Chelsea Donnie, now. And I think we're into... We did uh, this, right? Yeah, we did. We're going to be moving into the Atari 8 bit 5200 category uh, for the uh, completed and work in progress. There you go. I'll load that up. Sorry, which one? The Atari 5200, uh, 8 bit 5200. Homebrew. Yeah, all okay. homebrew. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? What's this category? Ready? Yep. Okay, go! All right, Atari 8-Bit 5200 Homebrew. We have Arcadia uh, by Amarok at Amarok. Bubble Shooter by Powell Nowak at Pajero underscore PN for the code. And, oh, geez, Rocky Hawk for the graphics. Uh, Michael, Michael, oh my goodness. Spilowski. Spilowski. I think so. At Miker for the um, sound effects. Uh, Bunny Hop by Fran... Fran... Uh, I used to know how to pronounce these names. <laughs> this is what's bugging me. Um, Franchek Hura at Fando for the code. Zednik Eisenhammer. Uh, at Pseudo Graphics and Vin Samuel at Vin's Cool, the audio driver. Pseudo Graphics was for graphics and music. Uh, On Escape by Votador Games. Franchik. Fran. Uh, France. Do you, did you look these names up at all? Did I look them up? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, for pronunciation? Yes. No, I barely had time to uh, okay. get that. <laughs> Hura at Fandel for the code. Zednik Eisenhammer at Pseudographics for the graphics. Merrick Hizut at Poison for the soundtrack and story. I, I'm deeply sorry for for just just <laughs> mangling these names. Yeah. For all the Polish names we are destroying. Well, yeah, we'll 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 get the pronunciations <laughs> better for the for the actual show. Yes. Robin Banks by Phaser Cat Games, Ryan Whitmer at Ryan Whitmer Design and Programming, Konstantinos GML Maladis at Tix for the character and object graphics, Bobby Clark at Synth Papalooza for sound effects and music, Harir Abdalian at Henry Lee for the cover art, and Tony Morse for the manual layout. You need to stop that. It's gone. I fed it to you. You watched, you watched me do it. Scorch by Paul Kalinowski at Pyrex and Thomas Pecco at Pecos. Uh, MK at MK Splash Screen Music. Mikhail Zlip Zlipowski at Miker In Game Music. Christoph Zembik at Kaz AtariOnline.pl for the Splash Screen Graphics. And Adam Wachowski at plus Adam plus for the fonts and graphic support. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. And again, I'm sorry for mangling the names. It's hard. 
But uh, a lot of good games in there. Huzzah, Fantastic Phaser games. Cat games yeah. Us. Congratulations on your nomination, uh, Ryan. Okay, let's go on to the work in progress. Yes. Atari 8 bit 5200. Load that up. Work in progress. Here we go. All right. Atari 8 bit 5200 best work in progress, homebrew. Dark Keep by Vladimir Yankovic at Pop Milo. Uh, I don't know. Do you know the name? Kij, Kij Shem? <laughs> oh, it's Polish. <laughs> I don't know how um, to pronounce that. Sambo, Samo Bij? Samo Bij? It's going to be wrong. Apologies. By Christian Wal Wal Walshik at Salmax. Since I can't pronounce it, we probably haven't played it. So I'm going to look forward to playing some of oh, these games. We've played them. We have? Well, maybe not you and I, but we it's been they've been on okay. the show. Last Ninja 2 by J Jakub Husak at J Husak and Michael Sipilowix. Sipilo <laughs> Oh my goodness. And Miker, Adam Wachowski at plus Adam plus for fonts and graphic advice. It's good they're on the screen. People can see them. <laughs> I know. I, I just, I feel terrible. I apologize. Uh, La Baie des Morts um, by... Hey, French! Hey. <laughs> by Phantomas uh, at Phantomas Programming. Constantinos Giamalidis Gmail, at Tix Graphics. And Bobby Clark at Synth Popalooza Music. Tony by... Christoph Dudek? Christoph? Christoph Dudek? Yeah. At XXL and Rafael Chabowski at MGR underscore INZ underscore Rafael for code and Rafael Dudek at, at Rafael Dudek for graphics and Mikkel Caruso Brzezeski for sound. Um, and then last tracks, we've got tracks by Yanis Chabowski at Shanti77. Yanush. Yanush. Janusz, I remember that one. You remember that one. Janusz Szybowski. Um, Jarek or Jarek? Odin 1 EC? Od Odinek? Is Odinek or is that an I or an L? O-D-Y-N. And then it's a 1, but Odinek. Odinek? I think. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's a lot of consonants. Wisinski? <laughs> uh, for character and artwork. Again, apologies. <laughs> congratulations. But congratulations on these amazing games. To all the games. work in progress. 8-bit, yeah, yeah. uh, 5200 games. Uh, they're all really amazing. Yeah. Check them out. Mm -hmm. um, mm. and there's emulators for all these systems now. Now even a Jag great Jaguar uh, emulator for all the Jaguar games. Mm -hmm. And um, you can use Altera to play 8-bit 5200 games if you don't have an actual... Mm. Uh, 8-bit machine so you can check all all these games with emulators because we supply all the binaries that are available so we're going to before we go and announce the last couple categories still have some more games to get through uh we're gonna play ruby q or i'll play ruby q ah. <laughs> well, i don't mind playing ruby q but if yeah. you feel like playing ruby q you play some ruby q okay i will do that <laughs> I know it's not your easiest. That's no, fine. Type of game to play for you. Oh come on, come on, switch back, switch back. I got no issues with Ruby. Okay, well you play, okay. and I will unleash those categories for voting. The eight-bit categories, and the last of the seventy-eight hundred as well. So cute. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> awesome intro screen. Mm -hmm. So we are, we're playing all the demo versions that are available for uh, downloading uh, so you can evaluate them yourself. These are all publicly available down, uh, uh, binaries. Which way right am into I going? danger. Like this? Am I holding it? I have no idea. Is it diagonal? 
I think or you put classic, so it's probably... I don't know. Depends on how you set it, because it has both ways to be able to set. Ah! That was <laughs> oh, no. the right way. All right. I prefer left, right, up, down, and then kind of angle just, the joystick. No, it has to be like this. <laughs> no, no, I think it has to be on the... Atari 2600 dude says this is a great game. It is. It, it is, is such a, a great fantastic game. Uh, reworking of, I mean, the original Cubert's okay, but it 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 plays more like an LCD game. Uh, this one, there's actual movement. There's so much more, um, so much more added, and he's mm -hmm. added some extra special features as well to it that extends the type of gameplay and there's uh, two player modes as well all these might not be available on the uh, demo version that's one quick way back to the top I didn't mean to <laughs> they get reset every level you just get bonus no I just didn't mean to do that because it's not going the way I wanted to there we go is the game audio distorted a bit uh, it shouldn't be be my fault if it's distorted. Is it in sync or is it out of sync? I think people just stop telling me. <laughs> if it's not in sync, please let me know because I don't want to do a disservice. Let me resync it anyway. There we go. Ooh, that was a close one. It was. You have to do two jumps on them now or yeah, three? Yeah, two. You can get that green. Yeah. Okay. He just goes down there. The level winning music sounds weird. Sounds okay to me. Both. There's also some popping here and there. Now it's fine. Now it's fine. Hmm. Set when my system is it? crazy, isn't working. Um, because there's so many things going on at once. And there's so many things feeding in to one thing, and they all have to. Now is in after you fiddle with it. Oh, interesting. That it's getting distorted when it's going out of sync. Now that I have a bit more time, now that the big thing is over, now we just have to play through the games. Um, I don't even have to arrange shows. I just play through all the games in the list for the next yeah. couple weeks. So I can uh, play around with some of the settings and try and get it better. Because I know what the issue is a little bit. I think I need to s set... Um, Set up the retro tink so that I don't even know if it's a retro. Oh yeah, so I, I I should set up. I need to set up the retro tink so it doesn't lose sync, because losing sync is what makes the encoder hardware angry, and mm. and the encoder hardware gets out of sync when it loses sync. I mean, it shouldn't do that at all ever. It should just be like, okay, I'm back in sync. But it does, for some reason. So I think it's solvable with the right setting. Kotoko just says nope. <laughs> <laughs> it means it's not good now. Mm. Nope is very ambiguous. This is like the best game <laughs> that you've ever of, the, of, of Ruby Q slash Qbert oh. I've ever, ever played. I've, like... <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. Is it on easy mode? Uh, on easy. Yeah. yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> this game can be set too hard. 
Ah, uh, Smoked says, I was just gonna say, Tanya, you're killing it! <laughs> it is easy mode. Yeah. For the record. <laughs> which, which is good. I, I think games oh, should, yes. on easy mode, be fun for kids. And hard mode be like super difficult for expert players and have degrees between them. Trying to go to Oh, you right. luckily got just one extra life. Uh, don't tell me that. No, I'm really gonna. <laughs> you don't have it anymore. So you gotta be careful. Oh, no. I mean, now that I know I have one left, I'm gonna die immediately. So. <laughs> oh, you see. That's usually what happens. Uh, VHSET sees the only reason this game is not on my order list because I already got a coffee. Ah. There you go. Yeah, like almost like every single game on this list is like astoundingly good. Ooh, bad guys coming out of the corner. Yeah, uh, they give a little warning before they jump out. Yeah, they kind of sit there for a bit. Say, You're oh, like, ah, oh, he's coming. Because if they just See, hopped onto the top the, too, like the, they kind of hang for they, a bit. They yeah. hang for a quick second to say, if, "I'm coming down." Because if they didn't, it would be completely unfair. Because what if you happen to be on that square and you're just like, "Yep, dead." Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, oh! I didn't know what would happen there. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he would cross my path or not. But I guess it doesn't check for collisions <sighs> off of the board. Which is smart, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to jump on that, will I? Okay. Could it be limited to the 2600 because of its particular weirdness or might happen with other consoles? It... I think it does happen with other consoles. The 2600 does have... <gasps> oh, oh, that's it. Me. That does, was the best run I've ever done! <laughs> 2600 does have weirdness Look at that. because of its odd frame rate or variable frame rate. So that could be. But we I know I've solved it for one single game. Like if we play a game for a long time, it doesn't go out of sync anymore. Yeah. So we've solved that. Now yes. we just have to solve the problem between games when it goes out of sync. Oh, that was very good. Very, very, very good. Very good game. Uh, okay. Now, let's do some more no announcements of nominees. And we're on to Jaguar games. The new category this year. We just added Jaguar. Jaguar! And uh, at the request of a number of... Can you be a good count? Uh, can't, can't. <laughs> and, we, and we actually added the last two years of Jaguar games yes. oh, into it. So you have two years of Jaguar for this year's. Yeah. Because we didn't have one have it before. Yeah, and That's everybody fair. was totally cool with that in the okay. Jaguar community. They're like, yeah, we want to see, you know, a bunch of games. They want the shot at winning, right? So <laughs> Well that's true. <laughs> expanding it, expanding it the field. Helps in multiple ways. Number one, number Yay! one, number one. That good was game, good Tanya. run. That was it good was. run. It's always nice to see better than um, usual. Yeah. A long night nice long game. So yeah. uh, the first category is Atari Jaguar Homebrew completed. So let me Atari best Jaguar Homebrew. Jaguar, Jaguar, do the math. Okay, you ready? And go. Alright, we have asteroid. Asteroid? Asteroid. Asteroid. Yep. Asteroid. By Alexander von Neuring at Phobos Programming Game Design Engine Design. Eternal Krauser at Eternal Krauser. Uh, CGI, animation, character design, manual and packaging design, music, and special... Uh, so I keep saying special effects. <laughs> Sound effects. effects. Um, we have Bronze and Brains by Lawrence Stavely at Serrano J for Dragon Keep, and Rick Day for The Tiles, and Matt Mook slash Jaguar for Do the Same. We have Gravitic Minds by Reboot, Lawrence Stavely at Serrano J, Anderlex at Agradinau, and Ronald Strauss for music, William Thorpe for packaging and artwork. Kings of Edom by Songbird. Are you okay? Yeah, just looking at the sheet. <laughs> Am I giving it, you a funny face? Uh, no, I, I keep hearing this breathing, but I realize it's this thing. I'm like, someone's breathing in my ear. <laughs> Is it you? Kings of Udom by Songbird. E e Does that sound right? Edom? I, I think Edom. Kings of Edom by Songbird. Alexander von Noring at Phobos. We've got Last Strike by Lauren Stavely at Serrano J for the code. Hoffman and MSG just dash RG for the music. Sonic for the logo and full screen artwork. Tiki Pod for the sprite animation. <gasps> sprite animation. Yeah. And William Thorpe for packaging and artwork. <laughs> this cat. Uh, Simone by RISC Games. 
uh, Clint Thompson at Clint Thompson. Congratulations Woo! to all the Jaguar nominees. Yes, and that's Atari Jaguar Homebrew. For the first time, I'm so happy to not only have Jaguar on the show, but yes. introduce Jaguar into the Atari Homebrew Awards. So let's take a look at the work in progress mm -hmm. Jaguar games, upcoming games for the Jaguar. Ready? And go. Atari Jaguar work in progress. We have Hammer of the Gods by Alexander von Noring at Phobos for the programming. Eternal Krauser at Eternal Krauser for CGI, animation, graphic design, music, and sound effects. Jalaga by Eric Desert at Eric, Eric DE45. Um, Mick slash Dune for the design and sure. graphics. Yep. Shadow Kingdom by Alexander von Noring at Phobos for game design. Carlos Zabers for graphics. Eternal Krauser at Eternal Krauser for music and SF and, and sound effects. Still, so still, close. <laughs> still thinking. Uh, and Arcadia at Arcadia for the story. Jumping at Shadows by Reboot. Lauren Stavely at Serrano J for code. Ander Lex at Ag Agradinau. Agradinu? Ag Agradinu? I don't know. Uh, sure. For level design, art, and art direction. Eric D45 at Eric D45 for sound engine. Uh, Ander Lex and Sadie Art for the artwork. And Ronald uh, Roald Strauss for the music. And then we have Splatter Hell by Alexander von Noring at Phobos for programming and game design. Eternal Krauser at Eternal Krauser for CGI animation, graphic design, game design, music, and sound effects. Wyvern Tales 2 by Jasper van Turnout um, at Ninjaba for lead story and art. Alexander von Noring at Phobos programming. For programming, Eternal Krauser at Eternal Krauser for music and art. Congratulations Woo! to all the Jaguar uh, work in progress yes. nominees. Now I'm going to open up the Jaguar uh, voting Yay. right now. And it is now available. And we have three more categories to go. So we're going to play the second to last game we're going to mm -hmm. play tonight which is Stratavox, which is a talkie game. So, and, and I did plug in the Atari Vox tonight Excellent. because I knew there was going to be a bunch of talking games. Good, good, good. Uh, okay, let's close that up. Atari Vox plug, ready. There you go. So Stratavox by Carlos Centeno, Raymond C, and Corey Kramer for packaging and artwork. Nice. I should be reading out these names each time we play. Yes. Yes. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it from now on. So I never knew this was an arcade game. Um, I had played this game on my C64, um, but it was kind of a homage port on the c64 called bandits and oh my god did i play that game a lot there we go there you go oh you can get into a rhythm you can but you it's have to... hard but you can get into a rhythm oh, oh it's like i'm just off Yeah, because it kind of gets easier as it gets closer down, but then it gets hard again. Ah, oh. I lost one. Oh, the guy went away. Poor little dude. Is it in sync or out of sync? Please let me know. <laughs> nice. One left. Oh, uh. Sometimes you end up... Ever so slightly. It's synced! Yay! Thank you. Sync, 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 sync. <laughs> You're like. Four, three sink, people said sink, it's in sync. <laughs> I'll believe you. Three out of three say in sync. Not the band. I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, 
Well, oh. we get a bit more chance to shoot than this level. Yeah. Tosses out keyboard, uses tele telepathy instead. <laughs> oh, they didn't go right to the corner. I know. Oh, oh, oh so one more close. chance. Nice. Oh, they don't go right to the edge there. Nice. Ugh. Oh, goodness. Uh. Boo! Uh, very good use of playfield in the top left corner for how many enemy ships are still. Um... Oh, no, oh, that was late. terrible. <laughs> that are still going to come out. Very, very clever. Um, and clever use of the playfield for at the bottom as well for the planet. Oh, this game is all about oh, timing. Yeah, the timing this is, is pure timing game. About how far they are away from you and how f how fast your <sighs> bullet goes. Too oh. late. You can just tell right off the bat. It's <laughs> you like can. Ah. as soon as you shoot, you're like, oh. Too late. That one seemed to go right through. Sometimes it does. Not too oh. late. When they're really far away, it's even harder. Oh yeah, so much harder. Oh, oh. goodness, cats. <laughs> distracting, cats. distracting me. Oh, oh, so close. We got four guys left. I know. Ugh. To abduct. And they shoot you where you stand, so you can't stand still in this game. Well. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Still have four. This is an interesting concept for a shooter. It, yeah. it is. And when those guys are... are Patterns. Oh, I think there's back. three guys that come out now. Yeah. But I think they give you a bit more time. Oh, they don't. Oh. oh. Down to three. So you kind of have lives in the fact that you have Ugh. guys at the side of the screen. Those are your lives. Nice. And it's funny, they get abducted, but when you shoot them, they go back. Oh, boy. Oh yes, that's the advantage of letting shooting one and let the two go. Because they're super slow going oh right through them. So they can get, only take one at a time, I think. But they go super slow. No. Oh, oh no. Yeah, only one at a time. Ah, oh, right no. into it. Ah. Two guys left. Oh no, you get lives as well. So there's two ways to die. Yeah, there are. I mean the game is over when ugh. Yeah. Ugh, uh, I don't think there is a steerable shot option. Oh, you got an extra guy. <laughs> you you always get an extra guy at the end oh, of the level. level? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh my god. <laughs> right through them. Ugh. So there is a tactic of le only shooting one of them. Not really, because you it's still very slow. No, but it you still have to kill it again. You, you do. So I still have to kill that. It's not dead. It no. keeps coming back, so. Yeah, it's not the best option, no. but it is an option. It's not necessarily easier, because you're expecting them to move at a certain speed, right? True. So. You can get two shots off if you're quick. Ugh. Like, you do it there and then there. But you're waiting for it right no! at the end. Oh, dead. All done. They're all like, yay! And we're taking you as well. <laughs> Bye-bye! So cute. So cute. Oh, that's super good. Yeah. Super good. It's a fun game. Very fun. Okay. We're going to now announce the Lynx Ready. nominees, Atari okay. Lynx, uh, which we introduced last season. Yes. Uh, in the fourth uh, Atari Homebrew Awards. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, cue that up. If you could read, I will get the Atari Lynx. So the last completed. two. Nope. Nope. Never mind. There's three more left. Yep. We're going to play one more game and then announce the last one. Okay. So another new category, if I'm not mistaken. Nope. Nope. Oh, we had no, links you had last them last year. year? We had okay. links last year. You ready? Mm-hmm. Here they are. The Atari Lynx Homebrew. So we have 8-Bit Slicks by Anthony Bocan at 8-Bit Dude, Carl Forhan at Songbird for the music, Andrew Fisher Merman, music, the title track. Critter, Critter, bleh, what am I saying? Critter Championship by Jasper Van Turn, Turnout, Turnout at Ninjaba, Code and Graphics, 
uh, side effects for the music, Nabucco 88 for the artwork. CSS traffic regulation by Frederic Descharmes at Fattest for coding graphics, Zero Square at Zero Square for the code, Templeton for graphics, Vector Pocket from freepick.com for graphics, uh, Mikhail Ziplowski at Miker for music and sound effects. Dance Bro by Stephen Reed at Old at Atari. Dance, comma, bro. Dance, Dance bro. Dance, bro. <laughs> Drunk Witch by Carrie Kackinson at Carrie. The Viking Trilogy Volume 2, Protect the Love by Rigar. Oh, I see. The Viking Trilogy Volume 2, Protect the Love by Rigar yeah, at title. Rigar. Long title. I saw the dash and I thought that was someone's oh. name. <laughs> which is... Uh, so congratulations Woo! to all the Lynx uh, nominees. Yes. And next up is the Lynx work in progress. Let me get that title up. Ready? Mm -hmm. And go. Here are the Atari nominees. Atari Lynx work in progress. Captain Harlynx by Fabian Marlier at Bob underscore 63. Chase by Oseo, o, Ocheo Team or Oseo Team, uh, Mars at, at Mars, Mikhail Ziplowski at Miker, uh, Lynx Music, Kazak, 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 Kazak helped out. Um, <laughs> Microvaders by Carl Forehand at Songbird. Ode Nexus by Alex Hiza at Lord Kraken and Alexander Grade at Anderlex, created by uh, Drozerix for the music, M Mikhail Ziplowski at Miker for the music adaptation or music adaption, Sorrow, Sorrow by Jasper Van Tur Turout at Ninjaba at um, Exofrenon for the graphics, side effects for the music and sound effects, and Wizzy by Carrie Kackinson at Carrie. Congratulations to all Kaxinen. the work. Kackinson. Sorry, Kackinson. 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 Yep. Yep. Sorry about that. And what nationality would that be where they add the sen in it, on it? Like son of Kackinson, right? That's yeah, son. Yep. I don't know. I, I can't I remember. No. Yeah. Um, congratulations to all the Lynx work in progress. And I will open up the Lynx voting now. And the Lynx is now open. Mm -hmm. And we're going to play one more game and then we'll go on to the last uh, nominee announcements, which is packaging. Mm -hmm. And so we're for the last game we're going to be playing tonight, it is, oh, that's the wrong sheet, uh, Word Guess by Anthony Blackman, nice. a cardboard box. He doesn't live in a bin, he lives in a cardboard box. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's already ready to go. Okay. Oh, come on. Switch input. Uh, and 2600, go for it, load it up. Or guess. This was a fun, not pal. <laughs> we don't live in pal land. Only on my Atari 8-bit. We live in <laughs> Yeah, Poland. that's true. Ooh, look at that title. Nice title. Very nice. Very pretty. Yep. Press fire. Oh, it remembered. Win three, play three, yeah. best three. Or maybe that's just <laughs> what we're doing. Okay. I remember right. how to play. So we have to guess. It's 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 that well-known game that I can't remember the name of right now. Wordle. Wordle. It's Wordle. So, but don't you have to guess? Oh, you. so this is just letters? Yeah, you okay. pick the word. So route is already there. So you can go for it. I can pick any word, any letters I want. It's any funny, letters. this game is so going famous. going for Q? No. Wow, brave. What? So uh, the it U is, is... somewhere in it. Somewhere in it, yeah. Wordle, yeah. Thank you, Atari2600, dude. 
But not there. Not there. I think that's the color coding. Mm. What do I want to get? I mean, Q is a... Oh! I didn't mean to make that a... It's not a word, luckily. No, I didn't mean to... Uh... Hit the button. Um, it can't be O, though. Hmm. Can be sh No. SH is not a great one. I've already for... forgotten. It's been such oh. a long time. Oh, people are helping. Flush. That's Flush. a good one. All right, let's try that one. Doesn't use any of the uh, we take existing... We take uh, suggestions. This is an audience participation game. <laughs> yeah, it is. Because it's slow enough that people can suggest. Also, I don't play this game very often, so I no. don't have a lot of strategy for it. I'm sure the people who play it all the time. Ooh, two letters. Yeah, still not in the right place, though. Mm. Um, no T-E-O-Q... F L H mm. U and S. So there's definitely an S in there. It has to be a word in the game dictionary, yes. Ah, uh, yeah, for I know. To, I know. For you to guess a word. It won't let you progress unless you have a word in the dictionary. <laughs> there's no H though, so maybe the no. S is at the end. Oh, it could be like somethings. But probably okay. not. Okay, and then U the U is not here or here. So the U is either first or the U is here. So let's just something. There's no O. Well, S could be first. S could be first. The U has to be. Hmm. Mm. Feel free in the chat to throw out some words for us. U, maybe the S is first. I would go S first, because U either has to be first or very last. It's definitely not last, so it's probably second to last. S, and then U could be, no, U, Nexus. Uh, yeah, it could be. Nexus? Oh, it's not Nexus because there's an E. There's no E. There's no E. It's a good guess. Uh... Spunk, someone said, but that doesn't work with the U. No. So I thought the S was at the end, but like, but it's I campy would do, at all. I would do S U something. It's like sunny. It's campy. campy. Oh, it's not. It has to be here. So the U's there, there or at the end. I can't think of a U at the end word. Um, uh, no L. Uh, oh, it's going to be something really silly. Spins. No, it's too many S's. It could be two S's. Try spins. You haven't no, used P. No you. you haven't used I. There's oh, no right. Yeah. We're terrible at this. Scrum? <laughs> we'll try scrum. Scrum. That's a good one. Yeah, it could be two of the same letter. Yeah. Scrum's really good. Uh, Are you cheating? <laughs> that's someone's, a yeah. No, that's I a really good so. guess. There's no R. I'm terrible. I apparently don't know my alphabet. Uh, I have to sing the song. I looked up that Wikipedia entry the other day. Oh! Oh, ooh. the R and U! No M! Ooh, so we know where the so S the, probably is? Is the S is at the end? Or is the S... Oh, the S is probably not the at the end. R-U-S? Russ? The S would have to be here. It's either at the end or it's here. So, S-R-U-S. Sh and the S. S there is funny. Yes, agreed. It could be two of the same letter. It, it, it can be. But probably not two R's. It seems like a very inefficient way to input your high score name. Agreed. <laughs> Virus. Oh, who, who guessed Atari that? Atari 2600. Oh, dude. Atari. That's the one. Yeah. 100%. That is 100% yeah. the, the answer. Is it such an odd combination of letters. Ding, ding, yeah! Ding. <laughs> Thank you, Atari 2600 dude. Points for Atari 2600 dude. <laughs> oh, it always starts with quote. Well, I, I started with quote. I think it's just pinging the same one. Oh, okay. Yep. So, All right, one more? We'll do one more. And then we'll announce the last? Yeah. All right, is this our last game? Yes, it is. It is, That's okay. Fine. One more then. Everyone. <laughs> what are you gonna start with? Right. GHT. I'm sure there's like. Aren't great. I'm sure there's an ultimate. Oh, there is. 
starting word, but you know, that's cheaty. I think it's more fun to like take a risk. I is good. I is good. I can stay where it is. R is somewhere. So no GH or T, so no TH. Um. Hmm. Excuse my yawning. Um, I something. Virus again. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Maybe. Let's hope not. Yeah, might as well try it. <laughs> well, the S is there. Well, that didn't help. Oh, the R. So the R is not in the right place either. So the R. Not the bit, I guess. Er, it could be E R. Something E R. Leave the I, may put an ER at the end. ER. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Or an RE, but I mean. ER is very common. Yeah. Um, that could be almost see. anything. S cider? No. Yeah. Well, that'd be C. It could be cider. Cider. And we haven't used C or, or D. They're not super common letters. No. But... Well, they are self replicating. Oh, that's no, so the R now, e now has to be has to be. This helps a lot. It's got to be R E. It's got to be R E at the end. Oh. I mean, it might not be, but it could be. That seems like a obvious. So I something I something R E. Cidre. <laughs> I don't think no. Um. I mean, it could start with an R too, but or not. Hmm. Yeah, the R has to go there. Yeah, the R has to the be there. The E doesn't have to go the there. The E, it could. It probably not. The E could be there. I just can't picture it. I R R E makes more sense, so I R E. But what would? Minor? 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 Yeah. No, it can't be ER. Oh. It can't be ER. Oh, sorry. No. Um. Fix it. It's RE. TRE? Oh, it's RE. Uh. Not many English not words with RE. It's lots of French words with RE. E doesn't have to go there. No, but the R has to go there. Yeah. So it could be R and doesn't have an S. So R E does make sense. Fiery, fiery would work. Yeah. Why? F I E. Might as well try it. And a Y. It's a long shot, but. Oh, <gasps> wow. Phaser Cat Phaser Games. Phaser Cat Games. We got some... Wins. Uh, yeah. Wiry. That's a good one, too. Wiry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Breakfast Gypsy. Breakfast Gypsy. Congratulations, Phaser Cat Games, mm -hmm. for the second one. Okay. Now you know what that game's about. Yep. Very good implementation. Wordle. And we're on to our last uh, nomination category. Do I get a bonus vote for that? Hey, 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 Phaser Cat Games. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it works that way. No. You get a bonus internet point. That's what happens. Internet points. Yeah, they're not, <laughs> they don't really exchange anything. Uh... But, uh... <laughs> okay, last category is Atari packaging. All right. Now this is irregardless of platform because that the packaging right. stands has for itself. Yeah, yeah, has nothing to do with the game. Yep. It's all about the presentation of the packaging, the, how nice it is, the things that are included with it. Yes. The artwork on it, um, anything, even the label on the cartridge, the manual, um, everything that's not the game. Yes. Everything physical. Everything physical that comes yeah. with the game. Okay, ready? Ping points. Ping <laughs> yeah. points. All right. Atari Homebrew best packaging. Packaging. <laughs> My, I'm just. It's, it's a long it's, week. It has been a long week. <laughs> I had a migraine on Thursday, so that oh, doesn't help things at all. If yeah. things seem a little rougher than usual. Yeah. Um, Atari packaging. So, first, Dagger Quest Two: Mystery of the Blue Robot by Marcin Whip Lipinski. It's an Atari 2600 game. Nice. I, I didn't label them, but it no. is. Yeah. 
Because it um, doesn't matter. Gravitic Minds by Reboot. Lawrence Stavely at Serrano J. Andrew Lex at Ag- Ag- Grade no. <laughs> I've never said that out Roald loud. Roald Strauss uh, for the music and William Thorpe for the packaging and artwork. Jaguar game. Uh, Last Strike by Lawrence Stavely at Serrano J for the code. Hoffman and MSG RG for the music. Sonic for the logo and full screen artwork. Tiki Pod for the sprite animation. William Thorpe for packaging and artwork. Jaguar game. Load Runner but by Tozai. Tozai. <laughs> Tozai. Tozai. Mess me up. <laughs> Tozai Games by Dianoid Game Studios, Dion Olsthorn at Dianoid for the programming, and David Exton at Live in a Bin for the packaging and artwork. Uh, 2600 game. Yep. Orbital War, War by Leandro Camara at HSW3T. Programming, design, and soundtrack. Hator Messiel. I feel like that is a different name than what I read before. Hmm. Like it's. Just wrong. Am I wrong? Apologies. 2600 game. Yep. Nope. Sorry. That's <laughs> correct. It's a while back. I thought it had different spelling, so that's oh, okay. Hator okay. Messiel for programming and consulting, and Vivian Piasabis. I know I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> Apologies. Design and text consulting. 2600 game. And the Viking Trilogy by Rygar at Rygar. Links game. Excellent. So good cross-section. Very good cross-section. Congratulations yes. to all those Atari Homebrew Best Packaging yes. nominees. Awesome. And I will unhide. And that's the last one. The last one. So now every single uh, category is now available for voting. There's the link for the voting. It is, um, if you're watching at home and can't on YouTube later and you can't click on that link, because you can't, it is uh, in the Atari Age forums. It's like right at the top. It's mm-hmm. it's right under Atari. It's actually, I think it's right at the top um, under general. Let me just check to make sure I'm not telling a lie. Yeah, under Atari systems, Atari general, Atari homebrew awards. What is that? That's weird looking. Hmm. I wonder why it looks like that. Anyway, yeah, it's what, there. What, 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 look, what, the font? No, just uh, like that. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, it's probably like the newest one or something. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, great games. Vote now, but not <laughs> often. Yes. Vote now, vote later. It's open for two weeks. Yes. Um, so you have lots of time to evaluate the sections that you want to uh, vote on. Mm. Um, people who have, you know, certain consoles or emulators or are more familiar with certain types of games, mm. you may want to vote in just one category or all the categories if you want to dive right into them. Depends how much time you have, too. Um, but the voting uh, closes on the 17th, the Friday night, just before midnight, Pacific time. Um, and there are links in all of those categories that give you the time in your time zone. So if you're wondering what time is that in my time zone, it'll tell you exactly what it is. Um, so happy voting. And, uh, for the next couple weeks, we're going to be playing through all of these games on the show. So, We've started with the first two. Yep. Yep. And we'll make our, our way through the 2600, mm-hmm. 7800, Jaguar, 8-bit, 5200 and links and uh yeah so that'll be a lot of fun playing through all these great games i'm really looking forward to it so <laughs> yes. yeah 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 um and then of course it all leads up to uh february 25th for the atari homebrew awards mm-hmm. where we do a live presentation put the bows on the cats <laughs> they'll all be dressed up yeah it'll be lots of fun um Oh, thank you for watching, Nostalgic and Reventulian Old Atari. Old Atatari. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, so it leads up to February 25th. It's at noon Pacific time. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll be giving away awards. We'll be talking to the so award exciting. winners. Yes. And a whole bunch of other stuff mm-hmm. that's going to be happening. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, so thanks uh, for tuning. Everybody's crazy about a sharp dress cat. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> the cats are in their penguin suits. Yeah. Yes. So thanks for watching uh, tonight and uh, have a great weekend. We'll yes. be uh, back on Tuesday. Excited but excited to thanks play for all these games. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for watching Rendered Ghost, Mike Soul, Chalcedony Mao, Dan ABC. Oh, are we still on that screen? Yes, we are. Um, old, old Atari, VHZC, Nostalgic, Revan Tooley, Kev Kelly, Dan ABC, Old Style, uh, Phaser Cat Games, Breakfast Gypsy, Vitoko, Revan Tooley. Am I duplicating lots of them? Pat Brady, Smitty B, 7800, uh, Rendered Ghost, Dan ABC, RC7E, Chelsea Donnie Mao, Mal. Smoked. Atari 800 XL Rules, nice. Phaser Cat Games. All the treats uh, oh, handing out to Chelsea and Mal for the catnip. Yes, and, thank uh, you for the catnip. Uh, and Nostalgic earlier, I think, too, with the treats. Yeah. Old Style as well, MK yes. MK Smith, B.R. Wonderful. Pocock. Uh, nostalgic, Ivory Tower Collections, Charles G. So Charles Mr. Zarnawoop. There, Mr. Zarnawoop and Mrs. Smith. Zarnawoop. Yeah. <laughs> So many chatters yes. tonight. Andrew Davey, Angry Viking Biker, just snuck in at the top. Yeah, excellent. Before he went to bed. Wonderful. Oh, Atari 2600, dude. I made sure. I'd. Oh. And PIRX, honored to be nominated. Sweet show. Thank you. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yes. Announcing all these great games. Good times. And well deserved for all the people that were nominated. Uh, and thank you once again to the nomination committee for uh, all their hard work playing through every single game that was created in 2022 <laughs> yeah <laughs> updated or finished in 2022 yeah it's a lot of work mm -hmm. um so yeah we'll be back on tuesday i uh, don't know what categories we're probably going to continue on with 2600 games and mm. go through those first or mm. might mix it up go back and forth maybe do 7800 mm. next time we'll see we'll see how my mood <laughs> see what we'll do we'll jump around a bit yeah we'll jump around we'll keep, it, keep it interesting excellent yeah. so thanks very much and uh have a great weekend great, and we'll yeah. see you on tuesday bye bye everyone bye.